All right. We're back to it. Back. We just finished fighting uh, Lord Nito. And I think the audio might be a little quiet. Can I, ch can I not change the audio here? Oh, it is here. That's probably better. Um, but yeah, we just finished fighting uh, Lord Nito. We just got his Lord Soul. And now um, we have 34 decks for basically no reason. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of my um, level ups in either attunement or vitality or endurance. So here I'll do probably all vitality for this amount of souls because I'm very underpowered. Um, I'm using a weapon that doesn't scale <laughs> with the uh, blacksmith hammer, and then I'm using uh, pyromancy as well, which also doesn't scale. So it doesn't make sense for me to like level up uh, into anything really outside of those two. Um, oh, I should have used the souls to upgrade my uh, pyromancy flame. Oops. Oh well. Um, we could do Inner Londo and then go into, yeah, I think that's fine. This is Prepare to Die, yes. It's Prepare to Die with um, DS Fix on it. But yeah. Um, there we go. We um let's rest here. I don't think we're gonna die, but we'll go to the painted world and huh deal with all that stuff. What's up, bit picks? Not painted world. Sorry, I'm thinking of um wrong place. Uh, one of these is a Mimic. Which one is it? Which one's the Mimic? The straight chain one, right? Yeah. Ooh, Twinkling Titanite. Nice. Um. You know what? Let's just burn him. This is a bad idea. Just kidding. That's a bad idea because I need to two-hand this because I forgot. I should have put some of my points into strength so I could one-hand this. It's fine, then. What's up, Mike? Crystal Hubbard. Yeah, not even worth it. Yeah, today's going to be chill day. We're just going to run through Dark Souls and just win. Um, the rest of the bosses shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, I just got Twinkling Titanite, so I think I could use that to upgrade the Blacksmith Hammer, right? At least I think that's how it works. Always put strength, yeah. We're doing a, um... Pyromancy build. Because I've never done pyromancy before, and I understand why I've never done pyromancy before. It's honestly quite complicated to get set up. Oh, ow. First death of the day, no big deal. Honestly, my my character is so screwed. Because people were telling me to put uh points into decks because it helps your casting speed be faster, but it like isn't that much faster. So I have all this like stuff put into decks for no reason. So many wasted souls. Strength make fire strong. Damn, when you put it like that, maybe I should have put everything into strength. No, I need two more strength levels so I can one hand uh, the hammer, which would be nice so I don't have to constantly switch. This is the uh, the Order of Ecclesia, Ecclesia ripoff game, yeah. They're basically the same game if you think about it. 
All right, buddy. Let's try this again. Come on. You suck. Boo. Okay, we traded hits there. That's so nice. Come on. Can I hit him through his armor with the lightning? Holy shit. Dude, the blacksmith hammer is insane. Damn, bro. Uh, did I miss out on the large ember, by the way? I think I did. So the amount I can upgrade my weapons is limited. Honestly, the hammer is, like, doing more damage than my, like, plus 13. Oh, God. We should run. For now. Just kidding. He's too powerful. Yeah, the hammer does more damage than my plus 13 fire uh, hand. Which is kind of insane. Considering the blacksmith hammer is only plus three. Seeing a blacksmith, uh, it'd be nice to be able to upgrade my weapons here, but... Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, how... <laughs> Funny story about how I got this hammer. Um, uh, the boars don't respawn, right? They shouldn't. Yeah, they don't. Okay, cool. Let's go. We won't die to this boar. Besides, there's a bonfire right here. What was that? Whee. They don't have a chance to drop anything, right? Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Can I level up actually or? Okay, I can. I'll put this into strength for now, I think. And then I'll just need one more strength level. Whee. Uh, how tough is it going to be up here? I don't think it'll be that bad. Can this one shot? Okay, nice. Nice fireball. Oh, I forgot there's that guy over there. Well, that one shot. That's nice. Can I hit both of them? I did hit both of them. Let's go. I should use my other pyromancy, I think. The faster one. Yeah, I definitely am going to want to put more stuff into Vitality for sure. Dude, so much, so many souls wasted on decks. Ugh. This is why I just need to not listen when people give me advice sometimes. What? Nice. Oh, it doesn't one-shot. Okay, never mind. We're in trouble. Oh, they can dodge. They're better than me. <sighs> Does Pyromancy just suck ass? I'm starting to think Pyromancy is just bad. Or maybe just the spells I'm using? I don't know, man. Every time I bring it up, people are like, no, pyromancy's good in this game. And I've yet to see a moment where, like, using pyromancy has been better. Yo, what's up? What up, Eddie? Yeah, back at Dark Souls. Unlock tech is a huge role in making it good. What do you mean by unlock tech? 
Yeah, the YouTube's been going really well. Uh, this month in particular. God, fucking arrows everywhere. Whoa. Dodge the arrow. Want to do a dashing attack? There we go. He dodged it. What a legend. Okay, there we go. I probably shouldn't be picking this stuff up, but you know, why not? Knowing how to aim spells without walking. Everybody said that the other day, and it's like, okay, that's great and all, but like, I'm not having an issue necessarily like hitting my spells. It's the fact that they're slow as hell and they don't do enough damage. Like this takes seven years to cast. Oh, well, that was my bad, I'm dumb. And the whole time I'm just gonna trade hits, I'm vulnerable. I'm better off just using this fucking hammer, I feel like. Also found an apartment. You move in on January 7th? Nice. Let's go, dude. I guess my question is, like, why would anybody use pyromancy over just using normal weapons or spells? Because it feels like it's the worst of both worlds. I guess it's just so that we don't have to uh, scale into it. It's just, like, free damage. Like you don't have to level up into it, so you can save those levels for other things. Which is also my bad, because my character, I just put a bunch of levels into dumb shit, so it's probably my bad. See, every single time I bring up that I'm not having a good time with Pyromancy, there's one person who's like, dude, it's so fucking OP, and I don't get it. Every time someone, I, I ask, how is it OP? And no one's able to give me an answer. I feel like this is just an opinion that somebody else said... And everybody just like, it sucks getting it where it needs to be. Yeah, so like, what's the point in using pyromancy? What's the appeal of using pyromancy over anything else in this game? Because almost everything else in this game is OP too. Like, dude, just use Black Knight fucking Halberd. That's OP. Or just use like Black Knight Greatsword. Or Black Knight Straight Sword. Or uh, uh, just normal... Uh, sorcery. Sorcery is also OP. I'm still waiting for someone to explain why it's better than using just like anything else. I guess that's the part that I'm confused about. Worth big trades, stonks, if you will. But yeah, I guess, again, nobody's been able to answer me on that, but whatever. Is it like a meme? Am I getting memed on? Is this just something that the Dark Souls community has just agreed upon that if anybody ever asks, just say Pyromancy's OP without explaining why? Oh, what a fucking bait. Wait, is he immune to fi magic? Is that what just happened? Because I just killed myself. People were probably thinking about Dark Souls 2 because I said Dark Souls 2 speedrun with no upgrades and pyromancy and it was ridiculous. What was the question? Why would you use pyromancy over anything else in this game? That's my question. Because I feel like everything has the chance to be OP in this game. Dex is OP in this game. Strength is OP in this game. Uh, sorcery is OP in this game. Faith, I have no clue about. It's probably not that OP. So why would Pyromancy be, like, OP compared to everything else? It's the Mandela effect. Everybody remembers it being OP, but it's really not. Well, when you use Pyromancy Flame, it's maxed out. It's ridiculous amounts of damage. Some Pyromancy has o AOE effect. Okay. Pyromancy scales without stat investment. So you can use it in other things. Okay, I've already asked all... Okay, that makes sense. So it's exactly what I've been saying, and yeah, okay. I still don't see why you would use it over just getting like a Black Knight Greatsword or a Black Knight Halberd. Because you don't even need that much investment into a Black Knight Halberd. 
Unless you have like a very specific build, I guess. Uh, I kind of got trolled when I made this character. Everybody told me to put uh, stats into decks because it makes you cast things faster. But it doesn't actually... Like, it's by frames. It barely matters. It allows your build to be versatile. Yeah. So nonetheless, nobody has explained that it's OP. Got it. <laughs> So it's OP because you don't actually have to use it if you don't want to. Because you could just make a different build and you just kind of have pyromancy there on the side. That's not so much... At least I wouldn't call that OP. But hey, everybody, you know, that's fine. And I'm willing to be wrong about these things. I'm not like some harbinger of, holy fuck, that archer guy is so fucking annoying. I hate this area. This isn't even the hardest part of this fucking, of the Duke's archives. It's just annoying. I never said it was OP. Everybody has been saying it's OP though. Not just you. Or I guess you'd never even said it was OP, but every time I bring it up, people are like, yo, fucking so OP. Pyromancy's insane. And I'm starting to think that maybe people just say things about Dark Souls that aren't true. I didn't realize people could just lie on the internet. It's crazy. It's just one of the ways to destroy this game. Yeah. I guess I'm I'm having a hard time seeing the appeal of using pyromancy when I could just fucking Oh my god, use anything else. Also, this fucking spell sucks. Oh my god, you have to be like in their asshole to use it. Jesus, you literally have to be in their asshole. Also, why do you not They have like 1 HP remaining. That's so awkward. Power within the best spells of the game. So that's the thing is like people are like, oh, you don't have to invest that much to do uh, pyromancy, but it costs like fucking hundreds of thousands of souls. Oh, I was trying to backstab, which was a mistake. There we go. This should work. Nope. Can I just not backstab him? He's unbackstabable. Oh, and he can teleport. Nice. What a legend. Combustion works better in PvP. It seems like, in general, Pyromancy is like a PvP thing. It's not really like a PvE thing. Because the other spells are just kind of slow and bad. Like, yeah, they have area of effect damage, but, like... There's other ways of doing crowd control damage if you need to. I don't know. Sorcerer is better for PvE. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to feel like. That sorcery is just better. Which I guess kind of answers my question. Like, why would you use uh, pyromancy over anything else? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. God damn it. Can you just block my shit? No. Yeah, I guess if you're just like fighting one person in a hallway, I could just run away and throw fireballs. But. Eh. Twinkling Titanite? Hell yeah, brother. I'm honestly just excited to upgrade this hammer. More so than anything else. This hammer has been, like, my favorite part of playing this uh, build. I don't have to learn enemy patterns. Please die before I get cursed. Really? Really? Am I going to be cursed or am I going to be dead? Wow, this game is so brutal. I was already dead. Why? How do you curse someone who's dead? That's bullshit. I don't have a purging stone, and I won't be able to get one. That's fucked up. Because you can't leave this area for a while. Also, I didn't get any Estus. Did I not rest? I guess I didn't rest. Oh my god, so annoying.
Oh, yeah. Give me the key. Viable poison build? That sounds fun. I mean, I like doing dex uh, builds where you, like, stack bleed. That's fun, too. You. But yeah, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the most knowledgeable about these games. In general, like... I have a couple hundred hours in Dark Souls games, but it's usually just spent playing normie builds. Hey, get back here. Hey! I forget what I'm supposed to do. Do I have to go down there and stop the thing first? Or do I just leave? I'm just gonna leave. I don't think you can, though. I can't remember what you're supposed to do. It's been such a long time. It's locked, right? Yeah, fuck. All right, well. Yeah, I guess it's just it's just easier in PvE scenarios to just ignore uh, pyromancy then. Because it's also like, if you didn't know how to do it, like if you didn't look up a guide, how the fuck are you supposed to figure out how to upgrade your pyromancy flame all the way? You just upgrade it enough and then just randomly stumble upon the fucking NPC. But also, you can't, uh, like, kill the um, Chaos Witch, whatever her name is, first. It's, I don't know. It just seems really obscure. But whatever. I'm having a good time regardless. I mean, it's something new. It's something different. I'm just going to... Oh, I can't just pull the lever? Okay, we're going to kill you guys first then. Nice job, idiot. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Why did I double drink? God, being cursed sucks. Um, You know what? Take this. Nice dodge. What? How many iframes you get for that dodge, bro? It's the same way you find holy glasses. That's fair. I don't know. Holy glasses wasn't... I feel like it's less obscure than half the shit in Dark Souls, in my opinion. Either way. <gasps> Is there anything cool that I'm missing out on here? Now. Uh, hello? I guess we'll explore a little bit. Why not? Archive prison extra key. Huh? How many keys are there in this place? This game might have that too, maybe. I guess that's just another way to get over there. That's weird.
Yeah, I mean, the bad translation doesn't help. Oh, this is this. Okay. What does this give me? Just a large soul? Wow. Okay. Maybe there is a ring that speeds up uh, casting speed. That's possible. How the fuck? You're supposed to get that. I don't see a place where you would drop down from to get that. Is that soul all the way out there? Or not soul, but like flashing light. How would you get that? It's right there. Huh. Oh, what's up, buddies? Ow. I'm just gonna climb. We're fine. Yeah, I guess. Trying to even see like where you would parkour from, but huh? No, 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 no. You can't shoot me. Haha, ha, you missed. Ah. Bro, I was playing Dark Souls 2 the other day and I noticed that they have uh, freaking homing arrows on some of the enemies. It's actually BS. Oh, there's so many of these crystal fuckers. What do I do? I'm trying to remember which... Uh Wait, I'm supposed to go. Ow. I tried to roll through that. Okay, never mind. Uh, will I stream Elden Ring? Yeah, that's the plan. When it comes out, I'm going to stream it for sure. Okay, we're back here. <sighs> trying to remember where you're supposed to go, but I'll figure it out. I'm just going to run past stuff, I guess. Because honestly, it takes a little while to kill these little crystal dudes. Oh, you're alive again? Okay, definitely want to kill you first then. I don't know where the other spellcaster is, but I'm going to have to take care of him at some point, too. I'm just going to assume I need to go this way. Oh, they can curve their fucking arrows, too. You guys saw that shit. God damn it. That shit curved in midair. Ugh. Also, I got one shot by an arrow. Honestly, maybe I should just put on more. I think this is what I was wearing before anyway, so yeah, that's fine. There we go. What's up, Dev? How you doing? Welcome to the stream where I struggle to figure out what the fuck to do in Dark Souls again. Even though I've played it like a dozen times and I always forget. Ugh, not there. Get dodged on, let's go. I'm gonna guess I need to go up there. Oh, you can't hit me. I got the best dodges in the game. Ooh. Okay, can you move, please? Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm trying to do the kick move. There we go. Thank you. Pacifist. Dark Souls pacifist. Whee! Can you... Get out of my way. Thank you. Make sure I'm topped off. 
And then... Wait, isn't there supposed to be a switch here? I guess not. Do I turn... Yeah, I have to go on the thing and then turn it around and then go that way, I guess. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Magic shield, wow. Can't wait to never use that. Wait, should I have gone down there? Through that fog gate? Maybe. No, that's not even a fog gate. Is it? Wait. I'm so confused. Where am I? I don't remember this place. I guess there's multiple ways to get down then, huh? Good spell. Pull the fucking lever, thank you. Which room is it? Is it not this room? It's the next room over... Where's the... Oh, this is the lever to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh... How does your Dark Souls chat compare to your CV chat? I feel like people are passionate about Dark Souls where people actually love. It feels like two distinct groups. Um, I don't know. I mean, people are less active when I play Dark Souls because I'm not like known for doing Dark Souls stuff. It's a little more chill, I feel like. I've never really thought about it that uh, like that hard. But I mean, in general, uh, I know people are very passionate about this game in general. Oh, I have to do all this shit again. Nice try, buddy. You can't hit me. I'm impossible to hit. Whoop. Skip it a whoop. Whoop. Excuse me, mister. Please. Thank you. I was trying to be nice. Oh, I didn't put my shield up. Damn it. I mean, I try to keep things chill in general for the stream chat. I don't know. I'm just... uh. Especially when I'm playing through a game casually, I guess. And I'm just trying to enjoy my time playing it. I'm starting to remember that, like, there's, like, so many weird areas in this game. Like, Duke's Archives, this part of Duke's Archives, is, like, so unmemorable to me. Like, the idea of this area is memorable, but actually the area itself, not so much. Are these stairs always like this? And I'm just running around for no reason. I don't remember these stairs being like this. Also, I got fucking destroyed. Yeah, the... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Am I enjoying this playthrough? Eh, for the most part. I think, honestly, the pyromancy part isn't, like, really that great for me personally. Like, I'm not enjoying the pyromancy playstyle, which is fine. I, I don't think it would be for everybody. I also screwed up my build because chat told me to put all of my stats into decks to help my spells be faster, but in reality, it doesn't really work that way. But other than that, it's still Dark Souls, and I do like this game a decent amount. There is a lot of like crossover, I think, in my opinion, at least, for how the games feel between 
Dark Souls and Castlevania, but like the first time I ever really like took playing Dark Souls seriously, I had a lot of fun, and it really did feel like a, a 3D Castlevania game for me personally. But then after a while, uh, I don't know. Please don't step on the stairs. Oh, he decided to step on the stairs. Oh, and he's gone. What? All right. Uh, that's fine by me. Oh, it opens up the shortcut. Oh, I didn't realize. Wait. Am I doing this wrong? No, I'm not. I am supposed to go down here. I'm... My spatial awareness got uh, destroyed. I guess this is the way you're supposed to go. Oh, I'm dead. You ever just walk off a ledge? Nice. I don't know. I'm just like inherently a very stubborn person uh, when it comes to gaming. So I can just like throw my face into a wall over and over and over again if given the right circumstances i will give up on games that i don't enjoy enough to do that with but dark souls has earned my uh my respect so i am willing to just throw myself off of a ledge over and over and over again i'd be interested in s to see what a 2d from soft game would look like oh no i have to go all the way around now Oh, don't freaking teleport, you jerk. Okay, so when it's in that position, it stays like that. Okay. So I do have to go around if it's not in that position anymore. Can I just go that? I cannot just go that way. That's weird that that's how that works. But this one, it doesn't work that way. Interesting. I mean, I'm in the middle of like scripting out a video talking about how Dark Souls has uh, affected the Metroidvania genre overall, like both positively and negatively. But why is this where my souls are? Got him. He can't hit me. Now actually climb down. Thank you. Ow. Would I try Dark Souls no hit? Eh. To be honest, probably not. Oh, there's the switch. I'm so blind. I just want to get to the bonfire. I, I would need to memorize the game like inside and out, really, for something like that. I know other people have done it. Like people have completed like every Dark Souls game and every possible variation. Wait, isn't there a bonfire down here? I thought there was a bonfire down here. There's a bonfire over here, I swear to God. I know there is. Don't fucking lie to me. I know there's a bonfire here. Where is it? Probably one of these side rooms? Or no, wait. Is it over here? Yes, it's over here. Of course, of course. Now I remember. Nice. Now I remember. Yeah, this area feels a little weird, not going to lie. But I mean, that's also Dark Souls in general. Like sometimes they just throw really stupid areas and you kind of just accept that it's part of the, the charm. Wait, you're still alive? Uh-oh.
He lived on a pixel, dude. Yeah, I'm doing an all hit run. <gasps> Let's go, Symbol of Avarice. 20 Prism Stones. What? Oops, whatever. Now I have to remember this area. Wait, I think I can warp now, right? So I can go buy a Prism Stone if I need to. Not Prism Stone, sorry, Purging Stone, Jesus. Hey, what's up, buddy? See ya. Honestly, this area getting through all, uh, the first time I ever did it was miserable. Because you don't think to just like walk off the freaking edge. Speaking of walking off the edge. Um, oh my god, the frame rate. Okay, we're good. The snowflakes are supposed to, like, help you figure out, like, where you're supposed to go. Skibbity whoop. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to go? See ya. Wait, what? Uh, jump? Woo! Nice. Uh, I guess we just keep going straight. It's kind of blurry. Okay, we do keep keep going straight. Okay, we're good. Some people say they play this without, yeah. Legends say. Dude, this without DS Fix is insane. Like, I still get some frame drops even with DS Fix, but it's significantly better. The remaster, I don't think I've ever really seen any frame drops playing it, which is, you know... Good, but I think there are versions of DS Fix that make it fine. This fucking guy. Wait, was I already on the side that I could... Oh, no. Wait, why is there a clam in here? Is that supposed to happen? I guess sometimes clams get in. Okay, cool, cool. And also, I was on the wrong side. Or I thought I was on the wrong side. I thought you have to run past him to break the the crystal. But I guess you start next to the crystal? That doesn't make sense. Whatever. I mean, it's going to be different now, but... This bonfire run is so annoying. That's only on repeat tries? Oh, that makes sense. I guess I am just used to fighting him on repeat tries instead of just fighting him for the first time and winning. Because who does that? Who beats Seath on the first try? No one's ever done it. It's impossible. What up, homie? Skip it a whoop. Then you just go here and run. What? Oh, you do fall down. That's weird. Oh, yeah, it is straight. There's just like some stuff off to the side in my peripheral that makes it me like doubt whether or not I just run straight or not. Poise build. I do have uh, armor that I could put on if I wanted to and try and poise through some stuff, but I don't have enough health for that, I don't think.
Oh my god, there's so much bloom I can't see. Don't do it. Oops, I wanted to... I was trying to throw a fireball, but I was being stupid. Um, I think I'm going to go get a purging stone. Hmm. Uh, I can go to Firelink Shrine and get one, I think. There's the... the. Oh, but do I have to go through the... Oh, I don't think I can get it from this side, right? Uh, I don't think I can get it yet, right? Because there's the there's the shopkeeper that's like behind the the thing. Hold on, let me see. Sure, whatever, dude. Not this way, but this way. I can't come from this side, right? Unless, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. So. I don't have a purging stone, right? Like, I didn't happen to find one. Wait, doesn't What's His Face sell purging stones in uh, New Londo? Oh, oops. The um, blacksmith over there? Does he sell purging stones? I cannot remember. I hope so, because I am tired of being cursed. Uchinaga? I was using like a plus uh, five Uchinaga, and it sucks ass. Uchi Gadaga, blah, blah, whatever it is, Uchi. I was using one. It's terrible. I was doing like 30 damage per hit with like 30 decks. It's just not a very good weapon. I would need to upgrade it more. And I don't have the large ember, so I can't upgrade it more. Whereas the friggin' big hammer is unscaled damage, and that seems to be working out just fine for me right now. You sell purging stones, right? How did you buffer the roll through the conversation? What the f... This game's buffer system is wild. Right? Uh, he does not sell purging stones. God damn it. I can make this a magic, uh, Uchitika blah blah. So it could be, uh, even worse. That sounds great. Oh, I need one more Twinkling Titanite. God damn it. Oh, that would be nice, though, to have uh, more damage. Oh, well. Come back soon. The dude after... Oh, yeah, he sells um, Purging Stones, you're right. Um... <gasps> That's fine. I'll just homeward bone. It's faster. <sighs> Is it undead perish? <sighs> yes, it is. All right, cool. Let me also rest here. Hey, yeah, yeah. This area shouldn't be too bad now. 
Oh, this guy's so fast. Never mind. This guy's a legend. Stop it. Dude. Never mind. I'm just bad at Dark Souls, I guess. My build is also terrible. I'm, I'm willing to admit that I just, this build got ruined by chat. I'm 100% blaming chat on this one. Because I said, and I quote, I want to make a pyromancy build. What do I do? And at least three separate people were like, yeah, Dex is fine. And then I used a Dex weapon and it did 30 damage. So I feel like I got scammed. Dude, what the fuck is your problem? I should have suspected that people just wouldn't understand the game because so many people don't understand Star Dark Souls, myself included. I could have made that bet. But lesson learned, I guess, for when we start up Dark Souls 2. Because Dark Souls 2, we're doing sorcery. Probably. People said that faith is like really bad in Dark Souls 2. Um, and I was trying to look it up. But I think it, it got nerfed so bad that it is bad. So. Okay. Purging stone. 3k. Okay. And then uh, I have plenty of homework. Well, maybe I'll buy one. Sure. Yeah. It's unfortunate that they nerfed it. Uh, are you 3k? 5k? Perfect. That's fine. Fine by me. I'll just purchase Purging Stone and then Homeward Bones because those are always going to be useful. We did it! Yay! We're not fucking cursed anymore. Let's get rid of these. I'll put Homeward Bones on the main hut, uh, bar, sure. Buy an extra one? I won't need to. Never getting cursed again. The only reason I got cursed there is because it was able to curse me while I was dead. It was literally impossible to avoid. And I died on purpose because it's a um, guaranteed death there. But anyways. Is that really my fault? I don't think so. I don't think that's fair. Well, I was trying to d d die on purpose, and then freaking Seath is like, well, since you're dead, let me just fucking breathe on you real quick. Give you some of that nasty breath that curses you. And I was like, wait, uh, no, no, thank you. Please don't do that. I'm not going to get cursed again. Like, the only other things that can really curse you are those stupid frogs, which I don't even think I need to deal with those frogs at all. Uh, unless I want to farm uh, Twinkling Titanite, I guess, in the, um, the tree. Wait, what? Wait, did I go the wrong way? I feel like I went the wrong way. Because I did. I'm blind and dumb. Ignore me. Honestly, at this point, I feel like I don't need any more items overall, like weapons or equipment or anything like that. We can beat the game with this. It'll be annoying, but we can do it. I just need to get these Lord Souls. After Seath, we've already done um, Nido. But then after Seath, we have Bed of Chaos and... What's the other one again? Bed of Chaos and... Oh, yeah, Four Kings. And Four Kings, I'm going to need to buy the Artorius uh, Seal. And then, yeah. 
And then do Anne Orlando. Which Anne Orlando shouldn't be too bad. I feel like I could just speed run it. Do I have to break the crystal again? I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do. He repaired it while I was gone. What hit me? This game sucks. Take that. Okay, that, that worked. Take that. Okay. Great. We're doing great. Oh. Take that. Oh my god, these fireballs don't go anywhere. I can't get close enough. Oh my god, stop moving your tentacles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the strat. Yeah, dude, I just am... I'm a hammer main now. The pyromancy side of this build is not working out. I'd rather just use hammer. Honestly, enjoying my use of this hammer, though. This is a weapon that I've never used before in uh, DS1. And honestly, it's pretty cool. It just does a shit ton of damage. Unscaled, which is dope. It's not the fastest, but I'm scared. Oh my frame rate, it's at 25 FPS. What is this move? I do not remember this move. Dude, the frame rate is so bad. It's tanking. He's literally tanking the frame rate because he's losing. He's lagging the game. He turned his lag switch on. How are you not dead? Thank you. First try. Once I cured my uh, poison or curse, I mean. First try. Let's go. Seath the scaleless, more like Seath the stupid. <laughs> Owned. Just go to their ass. Yeah. I mean, you're never going to be able to really fix that. Also, do the clams come in? Bring on the clams, please. I guess the clams gave up. Okay. With these souls, I will get the last strength level that I need. And now, vitality. We're going all vitality for a hot minute because I think I have enough endurance overall, but. Um, uh, what souls do I have? Just one large soul. Okay. I don't know how much souls I need to get the last two levels of on my uh, Pyromancy Flame. So I guess we're going to do... Oh, but then I also need souls for the Artorias symbol, sigil thing. How much does that cost? Like 10k souls? Uh, no humanity. Uh, warp. Uh, undead Perish. Can I buy that? Reinforced Club. I've done Reinforced Club before. Uh, purchase item. Crest of Artorias is 20k? Bro, that's expensive. Wait, do I... I guess we just... Uh... I don't know. Um... What do we do? I could go kill Capra Demon, I guess, for some souls real quick. I I don't think of I can't really think of what else to do. Forest Watchers. Oh, do they have a decent amount of souls? 
Oh, I don't have a uh, Firekeeper Souls. Um. I mean, I need to kill Capra Demon at some point anyways to get to... Right? The Abyss? I'm trying to remember if you actually do need to do that or not. Ow. Stop. Trying to remember, how do you get to Lowerberg again? I think there's the. Well, I could go mess with those Black Knights, I guess. It's all good. Also got hit while I was bon in the bonfire. Do I have to go to where the blue... Tearstone ring is? Is that how I get down there? I'm trying to remember. I think so, right? It's like down here. Nope. That's a dead end. Are they following me down here, by the way? I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh, they're, they're coming. What's up, everybody? One at a time, please. No, 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 no. Well, that was fun. I missed, really? Really? God, I hate this game. Can I break his stance? Oh my god, you have to be so close. Uh, metal door in small room across the bridge from the bonfire. Metal door in the small room. Uh, that's a one-way door. Uh, Ludwig. Unless you're talking about a different door. Because across the bridge from the bonfire is this small room. And then this metal door doesn't open from this side. Oh, nice. I know there's like a skip you can do to get to Lower Berg using some parkour jumps, but... I could go try and fight the Hydra, I guess. Yeah, that's an option. Oh, God, I'm getting... Fucking! Oh, I love this game. I just got gang banged. Classic Dark Souls. I really don't want to lose that 9K Souls. That'll be uh, embarrassing. Stop! Stop! This is Come on, dude. I literally can't even do anything except roll. <laughs> hey, but we're getting closer to getting those souls free. God. This is so stupid. Can I just... Please? Thank you. All right. Oh well.
Not here, but... I hate that you can just get set on fire through walls. Okay. I can't open this door yet, right? Yeah, that door is locked. I don't remember where you get the key for that door. Cause isn't that way, the way down into the depths normally? Unless there's a different way to get there. I'm dead. How are you? You just flew. What? Whatever. Because, yeah, this just brings me back down here. Okay. Why does that one do more damage all of a sudden? I was wasn't getting fucked up that bad from the other fire. The fuck? All right, well. Did I cut off his tail yet? No. You're right before you enter what, Ludwig? Could you please be more specific? The bridge. Again, please be more specific. Where you first meet Solaire. Okay. Here I am, where I first meet Solaire. I have a uh, master key, because any other gift is honestly just a waste of time. Are you saying this door to the right? The one that is locked? Right? That I already tried opening earlier. Is this what you're telling me to do? Yup, okay, thanks for the help. <laughs> Very helpful. Ugh, let me just find a different way to farm souls, I guess. Yeah, I asked earlier where the key was. Uh, whatever, dude. I, I wanted to get more souls so I could upgrade my thing before Bed of Chaos, because once I kill Bed of Chaos, you're, you can't upgrade your Pyromancy Flame anymore, right? Uh, this is really annoying. Can't fight four kings. Can't really fight Bed of Chaos. Wait, the key is sold by the merchant in the Berg? Uh, ooh, about that merchant. Uh, he's fucking dead. So, I hope that's not how you're supposed to get there. So I just can't go to the, like, lower berg? That can't be how... There has to be an alternative way to get down there. They can't lock you out of an entire area just because you killed one NPC. I mean, I guess it's Dark Souls. That actually wouldn't be that surprising. I'll just figure out how to do the parkour jump. It's not that big of a deal. It can't be that hard. Okay. Uh, I think it's like right here too.
I think you're supposed to just like do like a something like that, right? Or is it like farther on the other side? Nope, that's it, I think. No, I have to make it past that, okay. So that's not the actual skip. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, and see ya. I guess I'll grab this, whatever this is. There's a skip you can do next to the undead merchant. Really? The you are looking for, the key you are looking for, is on the steps in front of the church. The steps in front of the church. The steps in front of the church. Where the fuck is the church? Huh? Below gargoyles? What? The steps after the boar. Oh, that makes sense. I skipped that whole area, yeah. So that's not surprising. All right. I was about to say, it wouldn't make sense for them to just be like, uh, you killed this NPC? Well, guess you're not going to the depths. So down there, I assume? Or is it here? Okay, it's down there then. Yep, that'll do it. See you later, nerds. You know what, while I'm here, I should go kill that, uh, the Black Knight that I saved. Why not? I was saving him for later, and it is now later. Uh, as long as I can remember where the fuck I'm going. Something tells me I'm in the wrong. Yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, wow, a night shield. Wait, what? What area is this? That you need to enter f fog? Huh? I don't remember this. This is DLC or something? Oh, wait, no, now I remember. It's because I'm going the opposite way. Wow, so much soul. Give me. Mystery key. Is that for what's his face's uh jail cell? Without master key, depths are required. Is it really required? No, it's not. You can go the other way around to get to Blight Town. If that's what you're saying. You can go through Valley of the Drakes without uh, master key. Right? Or are you talking about to get to uh, the other place? You can definitely get to Blight Town through Valley of Drakes, yeah, so that's just wrong. No, the door to the right to the elevator needs the master key to open. The door to the right of the elevator? No, you just Uh not what I wanted to do. You know what? Fuck it. Get me out of here. The door after the elevator needs the master key to open. Dude, you just go from the other side. You can get to the Valley of the Drakes without Master Key. I don't know what you're talking about, man. 
I've done it before. Depths are a hundred percent optional. You just go this way, dude. You just go that way. And then you keep going, and then you go down, and then you get to the Valley of Drakes. Also, this is awkward. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, whatever. I just wasted a bunch of time for no reason. You didn't think about it that way? Okay. It's all good, dude. Yeah, I've never... I, I skipped the depths on, like, my first four playthroughs. I didn't even realize it was a real area. Because I never went that way. Even without Master Key. Like, I didn't do depths for the first time until, like, my fourth playthrough. Are they going to follow me up here? Yeah, they will. Really? Can you? Oh, my God. That's nice. Oops. Oops. Whatever, dude. Damn, I haven't gotten a single rare drop from any of the Black Knights. Not that it really matters, but just unlucky. Oh, I can't even go this way. Whatever. Please don't poison me. All right. Okay, that was rude. Okay. Basement key. Woo, we did it. Now that we've opened that shortcut, let's go ahead and rest of this bonfire so we don't have to go all the way back. The range on this really is pretty bad. Oh. Well. Where are the doggies? Bonk. Bonk. Uh, no. This way. 
I guess I could also, because eh, isn't the large ember in the depths as well? I don't remember where it is, though. Wonder if it's worth trying to get. Ow. Okay. Can we please get out of the corner? Okay, we, we've healed a decent amount. I just need these dogs to leave me alone for just a second here. I'm stuck. Good video game. <sighs> so stupid. Well, that was fun. I was like stuck on nothing too. Come on. Yeah, very unfortunate, but it's fine. On the bright side, my souls should be right here, so there's like 0% chance I lose them all, right? I'm glad I hit that uh, dog. I don't. Normal fireball kind of sucks. Great fireball. Much better. Who hit me? Oh, they're just throwing things. Loki? Rude. The doggies, look. The doggy, they're, they won't let them through. They're stuck. Ow. Whatever. I'm just gonna... Peace out now. Oh, yeah, I could have fireballed him for, for some free souls, but... We're close enough that I think we can just warp to... Where are you? Undead Perish. We should be fine. Because I have some um, spendable souls. Like this one. There we go. <sighs> so expensive. And there's no way around uh, getting the Crest of Artorias. You just have to. Right? If you kill Andre, maybe? I guess, yeah, it would probably have to give it to you. Or you'd have to have some other means of getting it. Come on, get me off that ledge, please. Thank you. Really? Oh my god, the range. Give me. Thank you. There's other two 
There's more than two blacksmiths in the game. Well, more than three. Because there's the one in uh, Catacombs. There's the one in Anerlando. There's the one in Undeadburg. And then there's the one in New Londo. So there's at least four, right? I don't know if there's more than that, but... Can you... Seriously? Fuck off. Burn. Boom. That missed? I'm so dead. Barely outspaced. Wow. Oh well. I didn't have that many souls on me. I don't really care. Oh god, I forget how to get through this stupid forest. I'm just gonna run and hope that I find the right place. Shouldn't be too hard, right? This feels like the wrong way. Whoa, juked. Outplayed. We lost him. Uh, I need to go that way. I am so lost. You can't catch me. I am too fast. I am speed. Too fast, too furious. Got him. I oh, was just kidding. He got me. Really? Really? I guess you're supposed to spam talk to the cat to avoid this. How am I? What am I stuck on? God, the fucking collision detection in this game is so bad. Am I going to do DLC? Probably not. The DLC for this game honestly isn't even that good. I'm going to be honest. Painted World is like two rooms. And then the other DLC is fine, I guess. And the goal is I want to be able to beat all three of the Dark Souls games relatively quickly. Like in like two streams, three streams each, so. What are you doing? Really? Ugh. What did you hit me with? How did that miss? How did that miss? Stop jumping, dude. I've never seen him jump this many times. Holy shit. Really? I 
Uh oh, I did not mean to do that. Never mind, I'm a genius. Oh my fucking god, stop jumping! It's probably because I can't uh, stagger him. Rolled into it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm, this game was designed to be played at like fucking six or 30 FPS or whatever, which is miserable. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I'm definitely going the wrong way. I remember trying to play this game without DS fix. It was it was bad. Very bad. So I think I'm going to stick to the left side this time. Probably faster. Okay, never mind. There's a tree there. Oh yeah, much faster to go left side. Can you stop? There we go. Now leave me alone. And here. I don't. I don't care about the, your stupid covenant. Honestly, I just want those guys to leave me alone. Oh man. Honestly, I think pyromancy is a bad idea for this fight, actually, now that I think about it. Come on. Oh my god, he's jumping so much. Is this just a thing that he does in this version of the game? Did they like tone down the amount of times he jumps in the HD version or something? Because I swear I've never seen him jump this many times. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina. Oh, come on. He also, like, staggers me when he jumps, too, which I don't remember him doing, but... This is actually pretty effective. Bonk. To horny jail with you. What kind of Castlevania is it? It's the 3D kind. All right. Oh, I guess, uh, did I even have any souls worth picking up? I had literally zero, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, level up. 
More vitality, for sure. More vitality, and now we warp to... I guess onto Perish. Yeah, I guess Undead Perish. I don't think there's a f better spot to get there, so. Try to whip build once and it was bad. Yes, whips are terrible in this game. Yeah, I, I always had an appreciation for, for Dark Souls. Well, actually that's not true. My first playthrough, I never finished because I just, you know, this game is really, really unintuitive to get into and everybody who like had that like get good mentality honestly is just like so full of themselves because nobody figured out how this game worked like literally nobody unless you were playing the game when it launched in like 2010 or whatever oh yeah i figured out how to ma min max my stats on my first playthrough like no like, you looked up a guide, or your friend knew and told you because your friend looked up a guide. Like, playing this game without any previous knowledge or any help from anybody is, like, beyond miserable. And I honestly, it's so bad that it's to the point where I personally don't even tell people, like, to do that. I tell people, like, hey, if you need to, just fucking look up a guide, bro. Just, just look up a guide. So, but yeah, but that's just me. Yeah, whatever. I enjoyed that aspect of the community. Yeah, it was a lot of word of mouth. Exactly, yeah. Like you needed to like get help in order to actually finish this game, honestly. Like, you can only get so far being completely, like, blind to the game's mechanics. Because that's the other thing, is, like, the game's general mechanics. Like, how you do damage. Like, I think I got, like, hard stuck at Ornstein and Smo on my first playthrough. Because I, I just could not figure out how to upgrade my weapons. I And I didn't figure out, like, how to do more damage. I just assumed you leveled up and got strong. Did I find another Twinkling Titanite or no? I don't think I did, right? Oh, I did. Wait, what? Blacksmith, wait. But it says I only have two out of three. Or no, I have three, but I only need two. Oh, I'm stupid. I was reading it the wrong way. I was thinking of it like fractionally, but it's the other way around. Because if I was reading it left to right and it was a fraction, you would want the, the sum that you have on the left and then the... Okay, never mind. Anyways, stronger hammer. Let's go. Started with pyromancy and ended up with a divine weapon that did no damage. Yeah. There are at least three fireplaces and like five NPCs I would have never learned about without uh, homies. Yeah, honestly. Like, like I said, my first playthrough, I didn't even know about the depths. Like at all. I never fought the gaping dragon. I never went down there. And honestly, you don't really need to go down there for anything, right? Outside of like that being your alternative way to um, get to... Blight Town. I always went through Blight Town through the top side of Blight Town. So when people were like, "Oh my God, Blight Town's horrible," I would, I never really understood why. Like, yeah, top side of Blight Town's bad, but it's not that bad. But if you go through the depths through Blight Town, that is fucking bad, dude. Oh, also, this is gonna be annoying. Also, there's like no bonfires here. So the bonfire runs are going to be slow if I fuck this up. I have to remember where I need to go. I think it's forward and to the right. Uh, No, 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 no. Yeah, we're fucked. Yep, yep, yep. That's death, I'm pretty sure. Unless. Yeah. 
That sucks. Oh well. Vanilla Blight Town super laggy. Yeah, that too. That doesn't help. Is there a way to get through there easier? Blight Town on console? Dude, I mean... Original Dark Souls without DS Fix is pretty bad too. Oh yeah, doing damage to ghosts, like the transient curse thing, not knowing what that did. Honestly, fighting the ghosts I feel like isn't even worth it, though. Because they're just like too annoying. Although I wonder if I'll be able to like kill them relatively easily. It might make this area easier. I've always done it by just running through. Personally, but but I'm also like stupid and stubborn, so. Dude, getting cursed for the first time in Dark Souls and not knowing what the fuck to do about it is, like, awful. That might be, like, I think the worst part, is I didn't realize how to fix curse. Because it's so obscure and so awful to do. Is it right or left here? I need to remember. Well, I guess I'll just grab these for now. Do this. And then just pray that I make it through. It was this way. Gotta go fast. They can fly through walls. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Just getting through this fog gate. Okay. Whoop. Hey, howdy. How you doing? I really do love the non-linear aspect of this game, though. That was probably my favorite part, where if I felt like I was stuck somewhere, I would just go somewhere else. Most of the time, it would work out just fine. Uh, I need to go through the chimney, please. Don't scream. Please no hit. Please no hit me. Stop. Hey, stop it. That's cheating. Stop it. Okay. What up, homie? Nice. Now, uh, where do I go? I go down, and then out, and then around. Ooh. GS3, by comparison, is on rails. I didn't mind it, though. Like, the... Like, yeah, they're more like individual levels in DS3, but it's still like a big, big area uh, to explore for the most part. Who has lightning spells? Which one of you is throwing lightning? Hey. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, We're good. We're homies. Oh, thank you. I was actually going to jump off there if I didn't correct course there. Oh! <gasps> I pressed the jump button, but it didn't work. I was trying to jump over the, the gap there. Can you even make that jump? I actually don't know. Hold on one second for me, guys. There we go. We're back. Ugh, this run honestly takes quite a while to get back, which is the my least favorite part about doing New Londo. Because there's no um, bonfires until you've lowered the water, right? Some portions of DS2 are great. I still haven't finished my a full playthrough of DS2. I've done three separate playthroughs that all stop like about 10 hours in. The last playthrough I did, I made it past the smelter demon. And then I was like... Then I stopped playing because I'm like, well, I'm going to play through all the Dark Souls games on stream. So so I just stopped that playthrough.
I'm sad I never got a chance to play Bloodborne. Fucking PlayStation exclusive ass. Sony's gre- greedy ass. Bloodborne PC. Dude, everybody's talking about, oh, Bloodborne's coming to PC. Bloodborne's coming to PC. Sony's talking about remastering a new game. It's going to be Bloodborne. It's going to be Bloodborne. Turns out it's just fucking, uh, what was it? Chrono Cross is getting a remaster. And it's like, great, Chrono Cross. Let's go. Sony paid good money for Bloodborne. Bloodborne is essentially like a Sony IP. I think Sony owns the IP. The, or at least they own a portion of it. Oh my god, I couldn't see. Sony is uh, porting some games to PC because uh, the PS5 sales aren't going so well because there's not enough people buying PS5s because there's not enough PS5s to go around. Which is kind of weird and stupid. So they started porting stuff to PC, but I don't know if Bloodborne is going to be one of those games. We really don't. Just like Demon Souls, yep. RIP Demon Souls, yet another game that I'll probably never finish. I guess unless I want to figure out how to fucking set up an emulator. Wait, do I go down this way? Yes, I do. I'm so stupid. Why would I even try and jump that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get past? Yes, I can. Let's go. Ignoring everything. It's all bait. It's all bait. You got a PS5 today by sheer dumb luck. Yeah, it's like you have to get lucky to get a PS5 or fucking scalp one. Or buy one from a scalper, I should say. You think they're going to announce it when PS4 emulation becomes a thing? Interesting. That's an interesting take. I I would need to think about that to see if that's how I would feel about it, but maybe. Just to compete with the emulator, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've invested so much into PC at this point, I don't think I'm really ever going to try it and buy a console. Like, I, don't, I don't see the need to. Oh, God. What's up, buddy? Nice combo. Now. Actually, you low-key kind of got a lot of health. Hold on. Nice grab. Stupid. How about you grab on these nuts? Oh shit, your combo actually kind of nice. Mine's better though. Right before the GPU prices shot up. Damn. Good call, man. I'm sitting with a fucking, I think, 1070 right now. Which is fine. Like, I'm not complaining about a 1070, but, like, 1070s are kind of old. <laughs> there are definitely, like, worse GPUs to have. Stop with your comboing me. I don't like it. Hey. Stop it. You're fired. <laughs> Get it? Fired? Nice. Damn. Five hundred dollars for a fucking thirty seventy? That's wild. I've honestly been holding off upgrading my PC because it's like I'm kinda just like it's gonna be so expensive. And like the upgrade wouldn't even be that much better, if that makes sense. Also, where's the bonfire in this area? I'm trying to remember. Now, I'm dead. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do this then. 
Oh, fuck. I need to put on... Where are you? Whee! Uh-oh. Uh, we're fine now. I guess I should also put on... Okay. That's a lot more damage than I remember. I'll just use humanity healing, I think, between each one. Really? Should be safe to do this? Yes. Yeah, poise cheesing the four kings. I don't know how to fight them otherwise. Has anybody ever done four kings without just putting on Havel set? <laughs> I've never done it. This boss fight feels like it would be so annoying to do that way. Stop it. I'm actually going to use my last Estus here. Yo, what's up, Rolando? Guardian set, yeah. Just high poise, basically. Can I great combustion their asses? Is, is, will that be more DPS? I guess we'll find out. Oh. What's popping? Owie. Get him. Eh. It doesn't cost stamina, which is nice. Nice. GG's. Easy peasy. It's fun to tag team a uh, couple of glass cannon mages. I have never done any online stuff in any Dark Souls game. I'm actually going to definitely make sure to do the online stuff when Elden Ring comes out. Or if we get to Dark Souls... Well, I can't do online in this in Dark Souls 1, really, because like online doesn't really work. I guess it does, but I don't feel like setting it up. But Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3, maybe we can do some online stuff. Uh, 70k? That's a decent amount of souls. Uh, let's go to... I guess Daughter of Chaos go up. And upgrade our Pyromancy Flame. Because we can't. Yeah, I mean, Dark Souls 1 is, you know, definitely past its uh, prime time for decent online stuff. You would have, I would have to set it up in, like, queue with, like, someone from stream or a friend or something. Actually, I'll keep the homeward bone. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, this works, right? No, it doesn't work. I can't go up with this, right? Yeah. I have to go the long way around. I don't even know if 70k is enough to fully upgrade, because I only need two more levels, right? It's plus 13. I only need two more levels for it to be maxed out. I hope 70k is enough. You had a whole Final Fantasy squad, so you did, like, Fighter, Mage... What's the original Final Fantasy squad? It's like Fighter, Mage, Monk. And Thief? 
black mage warrior white mage kind of something something Demon Fists. Oops. What's poppin', Blight Town? 40 FPS, my favorite. Even with DS Fix. Let's go. Leave me alone. Hey. Stop it. I'm just trying to talk to my, my friend over here. Can you stop it? Where are you going? Where are you going? Dung pie, my favorite. What up? I was oh, that's definitely enough. There we go. Wee, we maxed it out. Insufficient souls. Oh, that would give me black pyromancy flame, right? Does that matter? Is black pyromancy flame better? Is it actually an upgrade or no? Or should I just keep it at plus 15? Undead report. The living are lured by the flame in this relationship or he's a either gender. Okay. So you just like distract him, I guess. Cool. No luck. Hmm. Whatever. Well, young people, but do not keep I mean, yeah, uh, that sounds like a good idea, Ludwig. I would love to do something like that. I just don't know. Well, I do know someone who has ran Dark Souls games in the past, but I don't know about DS1. It's stronger when hollowed. Uh, okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I guess I'll just put the rest of this into vitality. Or by the rest, I mean the one soul I have left. But it's all good. Yeah, it's annoying that like AMD and... Um, wait, where am I going? AMD and... Uh, Intel flip-flopped back and forth as to what was better pricing and spec-wise. Because when I bought my computer, uh, Intel was, like, better at the time. But now AMD's better. It really does flip-flop. Also, there's like a shit ton of those uh, Taurus demons. Is there a reason to go over there? I'm trying to remember if I've ever even tried to go over there. I don't remember. There's probably some like item that's important for some very niche PvP build or something. I bet. Just for masochism? That also doesn't surprise me. Hey, what up, Capper Demon? How you been? I just bopped your ass not that long ago. Nice one, loser. Get set on fire, idiot. Do it again. Oh, oh, you missed. Stinky. Boom. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, attack, please. Thank you. Nothing special. Doesn't surprise me.
Ooh, juked. Juked. Got him. Oh. Outplayed. Wait, they don't hurt each other? That's kind of rude. This is weird. 54? What do you, resist fire or something? Living down here? Where everything's on fire? That's cheating, bro. Oh, ow. I just want this bonfire, please. Excuse me, can I please? Oh, nice pillar. Take that. Worth. Yeah, PC gaming has only been getting more and more expensive. Like I said, I'm happy I have the computer that I have. Um, it was it was even back in the day when I bought it, still kind of pricey. But this computer is like five years old now, and it still runs basically everything fine. Now, can I run everything at 300 frames per second with ray tracing? No, but I kind of don't want to, so that's fine. So I'm happy with this computer. Maybe if I become like an insane streamer that making millions, then maybe I'll upgrade my computer. Because right now I don't see a need to. My computer does everything I want to do just fine. Like I'm able to stream Dark Souls just fine. I mean Dark Souls frame rate only sucks because Dark Souls frame rate just sucks. I streamed the remaster without any issues. Just that DS fix doesn't, you know, fix absolutely everything. Oh yeah, I forgot he has the explosion attack. I'm gonna heal up. Oh! I got baited. But that's the thing, is like... I feel like, uh, at least for, um... For FromSoft games, it's like FromSoft isn't like the peak of graphic fidelity where you need 10 billion gigaflop teraflops in order to run their game. So I, it, I feel like Elden Ring is probably going to be about the same. I don't know. I'm not worried about upgrading just for Elden Ring. If I wanted to play, like I said, at like 300 FPS... 4K ray tracing than maybe, but yeah, it's not like the graphics are the important part of Dark Souls anyways. Can I have my souls? Please, mister. Can I have my souls? You're standing on my souls. Thank you. Oops, I tried to roll the other way, but... Aha! I was behind a tree! What? The tracking on that's insane. Uh-oh, he's gonna do a big explosion. Ah! Uh, can this even hurt him? Oh, it still hurts him, yeah. Decent amount, too.
I definitely rolled there. I guess the hitbox comes out earlier than I was thinking. God damn it. My roll timing is bad. Oh no. We're so dead. Yeah. Woke up into that. Damn, damn, damn. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, same. I'm same thing for me, Dagger. I'm just trying to run this computer until something breaks on it, I think. Unless I find myself like with a dumb amount of money, like an absurd amount of money at my disposal. Which I mean, like if this streaming thing gets super serious, that's possible, I guess, but we'll see. It would be nice. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, I'm finally at the point where my pyromancy is doing more damage than my hammer. Oh, oh, perfect RNG. Let's go. Oh, never mind. Oh, that doesn't work? I thought there was like a timing you could do there. Oh my god, that's fucking super full screen. I was spamming roll, but I guess that's just... He can slash meaty and there's nothing I can do about that. Damn. Feels bad. Feels kind of gatekeepy to say a past area is superior to present day. Are you talking about gaming wise? Um, I will say certain like, well, I don't know. It just depends on the kind of games you enjoy playing, I guess. I have a hard time justifying buying a lot of modern games. I just don't. Just the most modern games don't really interest me with the, the things that appeal like the main appeal of modern games, but I would never say that like you're wrong for liking them though. How? I'm dead. Dude, why is the fire sage like the impossible boss? I struggle with him every time now. I just want my souls back. Where can I get over there and get my souls, please? Thank you. It's like 9k. No, it's not. Wait, I lost all my souls? Oh, oops. I'm wasting my time then. Why did that do so much more damage? Did 400. Was it because he was in a mid-dodge animation or something? Oh, he was in the middle of an attack. It did... Huh? Something? I don't know. I got him stuck in the corner now. Let's fucking go. Yeah.
There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That was like, what, third try or something? Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Fire Demon Sage, but it just something about him. Something about the fight is always just like more difficult than I feel like it should be. Do I go down or up? Up is for the shortcut, I think, actually. So I'm going to go up. I'm trying to remember. What? Uh, love the hitboxes. Let's go. I will say I probably spend more time playing like indies and stuff more so than other games personally, but that's just the kind of person that I am. I don't know. Yeah, they're mad that I killed Papa Demon. But some people like mindless games though. Some people just want to like be normie and like get home from work and just play a video game and not use their brain. I can kind of understand that desire, but honestly, I have a hard time finding games like that for me because sometimes I, I'm just mentally exhausted and just want to play a video game and enjoy it. And But the kinds of video games that I like are a little more intense and like thoughtful and, you know, so sometimes I, I have a hard time just relaxing with a video game because of it. But that's more of like a niche issue, though. Uh, but again, just my opinion. Wait, there's a bonfire down here too? Huh. I forgot about that. Oh well. <sighs> what are you? Hell yeah, more souls. Uh oh, I'm dead as fuck. Just kidding. We're good. All right. Oh, I forgot about this fight. Shit. I was over here thinking like, oh boy, let's just go fight fucking Bed of Chaos. But now I'm remembering like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, shit. Damn, look at that ass though. Uh, what do I do? You need to find the stupid lava ring, right? Is that it over there? No. Fuck. Uh oh. You wanna? I got. I guess I'll just fight him over here. Centipede demon. Dude, he just did a flip and fucking ye landed on top of my ass. Oh my. I'm still alive? No, I'm not. I thought I was moving. Uh, 
I honestly think the most uh, groundbreaking and interesting things happening uh, for the most part outside of specific game development studios when it comes to gaming in the modern era usually start as ideas that indie developers start and then like AAA developers like four years later copy it and then make like septuple the amount of money. I think you break his arm off and then you get the the ring, but I could be wrong. I'm just going to go over here and uh, try and fight him over here. Get that ass over here. Come on. I'm trying to roll through it, but that's a bad idea. It's way too active of a hitbox. God damn, bro. He's still camping me out. Can you get your ass over here so I can actually fight you? I tried to double chug, but he didn't double chug. What the fuck, bro? God damn it. Um, because I'm a baby, let's do this. Oh, I need to spend two. Let's just kindle this bonfire. Call it a day. Can't I summon a uh, Sunbro here too to help me with this fight? Or does that not work unless I'm in a specific... I uh, feel like you have to be in a specific covenant for that. And I'm in the cat covenant right now. Oh, well. Soak Song, yep. DNF is Dungeon Fighter. And then DNF Duel is uh, the Arxis fighting game using Dungeon Fighter as like the IP. So it's a fighting game based off of Dungeon Fighter. It looks cool. Oh, Solaire is still here. Let's go, Solaire. Let's fuck him up, bro. Let's uh, hit him with that good old jolly cooperation because I'm tired of fighting his ass on my own. Now, will Solaire just run into the lava and just melt himself? Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread, I'm sure, is a lot of fun. Uh, I've already spoiled myself on the game, and also I hate Nintendo, so I'm not going to give them any bit of my money personally. But it seems like everybody who's playing the game is enjoying it, so I won't take away from their fun personally. But I will say that I, I'm not going to buy it or play it. Let's go Solaire, just running directly into the lava. Don't, that's a lava, that's like literally a pool of lava over there, Solaire. Yeah, come over here, come over here, let's go. Let's lure him over here and we'll fight him over here. Yeah. Yo, Solaire, you know how you love to do those like lightning bolt things? You could do that from here if you wanted to. Don't you, like, that'd be cool, right? Like, you throw a lightning bolt at the guy that's right over there. Solaire. Okay, well, uh, it's worth a shot. Okay, Solaire, you could at least, like, take his aggro. Solaire, you could do something other than just standing there and getting fucking destroyed. Come on! This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for both of us. Solaire! We haven't done any damage and you're almost dead. Oh, you just got fucking picked up! And you're getting eaten! Hey! Stop eating my friend! What? Is he immune to fire? Uh-oh. I guess that makes sense, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Very silly of me to try and fight fire versus this guy. I missed. Oh my god, the FPS. Solaire, no. I think Solaire has died during every fight that I've summoned him. Did 
Don't grab me. Fuck off, mate. I still want that ring. That'd be nice. I don't think we're going to get it because I, I can't even reach his hand. Oh, he just fucking stomped on my ass. Oh, I can't hit it. I can hit the rest of his body. Well, his legs, actually. Damn. Unfortunate. Oh, do I just get it f after beating him anyways? Is that tr Oh, never mind. Cool. That's fine by me. I was trying to cut his tail. I hit his tail a shit ton. It didn't do anything. Oh, well. Is there nothing here? Really? This big old fucking thing and you can't... Eh. Uh, it's probably lore. Solaire, you were just... I, I just saw you. You were dead. You good, bud? I'm like, I finished up. I finished the job. Why? Oh, he's sad now. Why? Why? Damn, he's so sad. Oh, if you can complete the quest line. What quest line do you even... What do you even do? I... That's, like, part of the game that I think I've never actually done. Oh my god, the bloom is insane. I'm not trying to aggro any of these, uh, but I know one of these ruins you can enter. Is it this one? I guess it's this one. And I think one of them has a bonfire too, right? I could be mistaken. Hmm. I guess it's not here. Whatever. I think you have to summon him for a certain boss fight and don't let him die. And you're supposed to kill the thing that latches onto him by the entrance of Isolith from the other. Oh, okay. Well, 
Is there a purpose for doing so? Do you get like a unique item or something or is it just lore? I know there's a bonfire before Bed of Chaos. Somewhere. I know there is. Oh, if you do his quest, he'll join you in the fight versus Gwyn, really? Oh. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm going to get invaded here, don't I? Wait, do you get invaded or is it the... No, it's just some random person here. I thought it was an invasion, but it's not. There's just some dude. Look at this. Look at this dude. Oh, we brought the same thing? Oh, we're wearing the same thing. Oh, wait, no. There is a... Invasion. I was right. I remember now. Hey. He's wearing thorn mail? That's... Lame. Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna bleed out. Stop it. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna ask you to please stop. Okay. Nice. Barbed straight sword. Cool. Now where's the bonfire? I know there's a bonfire nearby, right? There's gotta be. You don't have to do the lava run every single time, right? God, this fucking demon is so gross. So gross. You yucky. Chaos Fire Whip. Let's go. I know. There's a bonfire. Doesn't the floor fall out here? Is it not? It's not this one then. I'm thinking of a different one. Huh. I really thought there was a bonfire nearby. Because I remember the run back to... That of chaos isn't that bad. Is it over here, maybe? Nope. Well, we're probably gonna die. In fact, I have a decent amount of souls. I'm considering homeward boning. If I can't find this bonfire, because I could have swore there was a bonfire. Guess not. Damn. Unless, wait. Oh, sneaky. Somewhere down here, maybe? Wait, is this where it came from? No, I came from there. Which... Wait, huh? Uh-oh. I'm lost. Well. Wait 
That's fine. The run there isn't that long, I guess. No, oh, I want to level up. Bye, Solaire. Because I don't want those souls to go to waste. Oh, I thought I could just run through. My bad. My bad. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Can I make it? <gasps> Damn it, I was gonna pop a humanity when I got to the other side. Oh well. Oh uh, well. Um, honestly, whatever. We only have Bed of Chaos left, and then we're done. Uh, there's a way to get up there, right? Yeah, maybe that's the bonfire I'm thinking of, is there's a way to get up, up there. Yeah, there's definitely a way to get up there and then over, and I think that's where the bonfire is. Interesting. Can I go up this way? This way seems like a more direct path. Yeah. Lame. So wait, I just need to go up there and then across, I think. Wait, what? God, no jump button in Dark Souls. How did I not figure out how to do that? I was right over here. I'm not blind?
Oh, it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah, oh man. Yeah, I just have to get past this guy. Nice. Ow. That was rude. Easy peasy. Get yeah, owned, oh, nerd. Nope. 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 <gasps> that was close. Oh, buddy. What's up, buddy? Give me the good shit. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Uh. Son, bro. Uh. You good? No, Sunbro killed me. Damn it. Welp. I didn't know Sunbro was over there. All right. Well, that's cool. <sighs> right next to the bonfire, too. I'm gonna say it, this place kinda sucks. Is it just me? There's just lava everywhere. I feel like the developers gave up. Like, they literally just copy and pasted this, like, stupid, dumpy ass enemy over and over and over again. I don't know. This, like, pit of lava over here feels like the developers gave up. They were just like, eh, fuck it. Copy paste like the same four enemies. I don't care. I don't think I've ever killed any of those uh, little T Rex leggy dudes before in my life. Cause it's like, why would I? I don't know. It just feels like a waste of time. Okay. Let's try this again. This time Sunbro is going down. Well, they like do damage just from like walking, so it's it's kind of annoying to try and deal with them. Ooh. Oh, he's so slow. Poor little demon guy. Is Solaire still here? Or do I only have one chance to kill him? Oh no, he's still here. What's poppin', big man? 
you kind of missed, but nice job. Nice lightning bolt, loser. Nice lightning bolt, loser. Yeah, it's dark, stinky. Sunlight straight sword, sunlight shield, sunlight talisman. <gasps> I get his whole armor set? Let's go. Isn't there supposed to be a bonfire in here? Or is it on the other side? Do I have a favorite out of the Soulsborne games? Like in general? Which one's my favorite? Oh man. Um, I don't know. Oh, I thought there was a bonfire down here, but I guess not. It's just one of these guys has a glowy face. Nice. Uh, I don't know. I think Dark Souls 3 was the one that I enjoyed the most on my first playthrough, but I most enjoy replaying Dark Souls 1. And then Dark Souls 2, I, I haven't finished yet, so I think it's pretty fair to say that it's my least favorite. Also, I thought there was a bonfire over there, but I guess not. I guess the one I'm at is the closest one. Oh, this guy got some big boy HP. So we're probably going to die to him, aren't we? We. No, I'm stuck. Help. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the, it's like all the way up. Which at that point, it's like not even faster. It's not like a shortcut at all, so. Demon Souls looks like it would be a lot of fun. I'm just uh, sad that it's not on PC. Apparently, uh, PS3 emulation is at a point where you can play it emulated pretty okay. But I just don't feel like setting it up, honestly. But, like, I'm not going to buy a... PlayStation console. Oh my god, you you animate at 2 FPS. That tail was moving at like 2 FPS. It was a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, same with Bloodborne. I've always wanted to play Bloodborne, but... PS4, man. I'm sure at this point I could probably buy a secondhand PS4 for cheap and a second-hand PS3 for cheap and buy the games and just, like, deal with it, but I really don't want to. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. They'll be playable at some point eventually, maybe, in a way that's not... Super stupid. Uh, I think there's just the one PS2 emulator, right? Like PCX2 or whatever it's called. PX2C. I forget what it's called. PCSX, yeah, whatever it is. I think that's like the only one, unless I'm mistaken. There's probably other ones, but... I don't know. PS2 is another emulator that I've never felt like setting up either. 
like honestly i i would prefer to play things on original hardware most of the time but sometimes the hardware is stupid and i would only ever buy it for like one game so most of the time i just avoid it like like why would i buy a ps3 just to play uh demon souls why would i buy a ps4 just to play bloodborne why would i buy a ps5 just to play demon souls <laughs> remake I'm sure for some people it's worth it, but I don't know. Oh God, I don't remember the patterns. I don't know where to stand. I'm gonna get fucked up by this stupid fucker's hand. Nope. Don't push me off, bro. Ah! I'm gonna get pushed off. No! Classic. Classic bed of chaos. And we gotta run away all the way back there all over again. Woo! Where are you? Is that the bottom? Yeah, it is. Jinx yourself. I mean, that's just Bed of Chaos. Honestly, Bed of Chaos without doing the firebomb strat, like the speedrun strat, is honestly just pure luck whether you actually make it through or not. Nobody, unless somebody is like actually a god gamer, like I don't feel like people actually have real strategies for dealing with Bed of Chaos. They just kind of hope for the best. Oh, come on. I don't want to go around. It's slow. Please, just let me through. Requires BIOS. Uh, most emulators that don't have their own custom BIOS don't supply BIOS uh, because it's illegal to do so. The BIOS is like copywritten by Sony. So you would have to find it on your own. And the only way to get the BIOS is either to rip it from the console itself using a modified console. Actually, I don't even know if you can rip BIOS that way. I know it works that way with ROMs, but BIOS might be different. I'm not 100% sure, but you should be able to rip it off your own hardware. Same with like you would do with like an original ROM for a game. Um, but the emulators themselves can't supply the BIOS. Because if they do, they could get sued by Sony for uh, basically like giving away um, copywritten material for free. The other bonfire might be better. I just don't want to go all the way over there. It might be. It might be better. You might be right, but. There's still a decent amount of walking it for that bonfire too. But I mean, that's just emulation. Like emulation is always like riding the line between like being available for the sake of being available because like it, it's very good for uh what's the word um ugh. very tired today preservation that's the word i was looking for like obviously like emulation should be available for preservation oh i already broke the one i don't have to break it again i forgot But then also, like, pirates want to use emulation for the sake of just getting shit for free or whatever. Yeah, analog face bu buttons are a weird thing that the PS2 has as well. Honestly, it's one of the reasons why I don't super love DualShock 2s is because the buttons don't feel great 
on DualShock 2s because of that. Armor at risk? Uh-oh. Wait, why is that? Oh, I have to go repair my fucking helmet. Doesn't the... Capacity fix itself? Okay, he's just vibing. Or durability or whatever the fuck the stat is. I can't even see it. Durability is at 52. Okay, well, I'll just take it off then. I thought it resets uh, at bonfires. But I guess I was wrong. I'll do that. I think it's better fire resist anyways. I thought it did when you rested a bonfire. You have to repair it at the bonfire? Is that true? Hmm. There is a bonfire by an illusionary wall. I knew there was one. God damn it. I just had a hard time finding it. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, hello? Oh my god. No jump button, by the way. Ugh. Dark Souls. Classic Dark Souls get stuck on a fucking twig that your character could easily just lift their fucking knees and walk over. Good one, Dark Souls. Stuck on a fucking twig. Actually, let me go double check. If I rest at the bonfire, will it repair the, the helmet or no? Because right now, Mask of the Father is durability 52 out of 200. Oops. And it is still 52 out of 200. What about everything else that I'm wearing? Oh. I guess durability just goes down. Okay. I guess certain items just have different durability rates. That makes sense. Sure. I mean, I was only wearing Mask of the Father anyways for the meme, so whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So which one of these is the one with the illusionary wall? Is it that one right there? The first one? Stop stepping on me! Oh God, this area is so annoying. Usually I can get through an entire playthrough of Dark Souls without needing to repair my equipment even once. So, uh, something tells me that this one's been a little rough. I'm gonna go around this way. So either this shrine is the one with the illusionary wall. 
Or I don't know how this game works. It's going to be one of these doors, right? Oh no, I already went to the shrine and... And where's the fucking thing? What's up, homie? It's not that one. I checked all the walls, I thought. It's definitely not up top. Hi there, Dexter. Welcome. It's not this one. There's, I don't remember there being another one of these little shrine thingies. Oh, there it is. Didn't I check that? I guess I didn't. That's annoying. Also, fuck this one in particular. How many Titanite do I have? I need one more. Tingling Titanite to upgrade it all the way. Cool. That's a fucked up bonfire to try and find on your own. Control C, Control V, the area. I was actually just talking about that earlier. I wasn't sure if you were uh, listening for that self-destruct, but yeah. This area definitely feels like they just copy and pasted, like, the same enemies, the same buildings, like, over and over and over again. Like, they were on a crunch to finish the game, which is probably possible. And then also this boss is, like, so... Not uninvolved, necessarily, but, like, they only programmed, like, one attack. Which is, like, the hand swipe, and then, like, the arena falls away. So I feel like this area, they definitely put the least amount of detail into compared to everything else. Uh, I tried to do a Dark Souls randomizer once, and I didn't realize how brutal they are. Because, like, you just need to check every single item location in the game in hopes that you find all the Lord Souls. So I started up assuming that it would only take, like, a handful of hours, and it was, like, five hours later, and I didn't even find a single Lord Soul, and I was like, this is bad. Because I don't have every single item location memorized, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say it's pretty brutal overall. I would need to be much, much, much more knowledgeable about this game to feel comfortable running a randomizer. That or I'd have to be comfortable just like... Fuck you. I'd have to be comfortable just like playing through a randomizer for like 20 hours. When already this playthrough alone is combined going to be like... I don't know. It's going to be pretty long. Maybe one day. I'm not ruling it out. But currently, I don't know. It seems pretty rough. I would only do it maybe as like a weapon randomizer so I could just like play through with like a different build. But like key items being randomized feels really, really uh, rough for me personally. The rogue-like mod? There's a rogue-like for Dark Souls? How does that even work? Is it just permadeath? And then they start you with a bunch of equipment? I mean, there's OP stuff in Dark Souls. For sure. It's just that getting it is much more involved than just, like, finding a Chrysogrim, you know? I tried to set up the gun mod for Dark Souls, but it's uh, a lot more involved than you would think. And you don't just get the guns. You have to do, like, a bunch of obscure secret shit just to find the guns. Because the developer was like, I'm going to put guns in the game. But it's also going to be, like, really stupid. I mean, people play the randomizer all the time with the key items being shuffled around, but... Please don't hit me. 
I'm going to get gate kept here. I don't know how to get around this. The hand swipe is just going to fuck me up. What was that slow ass turn animation? God, this is so dumb. <sighs> I'm honestly going to put on the Havel set and just fucking poise it, I guess. Because this is so stupid. Dark Souls 2 has some bullshit bosses, for sure. But yeah, I think Bed of Chaos is the worst design boss as far as just like overall designing a boss for a action RPG like this. Dark Souls 2 has some doo-doo ass bosses for sure, but this is bad. Rolls have invincibility for sure. It's just that the hitbox just is so active that trying to roll through it isn't consistent. Oh, the Pursuer? Yeah. That's an early game boss that's fucked up in Dark Souls 2. It's like beyond fucked up, in my opinion. That, I think that's the boss I'm thinking of, right? Where you just have the, um, like, three suits of armor and you're on top of this fucking, like, ledge. And then you have to jump down to fight the other two suits of armor. Ugh. Oh, that's the Sentinels? Oh, the Sentinels are bullshit. That, I think, is, like, probably the worst fight in Dark Souls 2 that I really had to do. At least I'm... From what I remember. I can't poise it! Fuck! Okay... Only has 80 durability. Has some fire defense. It's not as good as this, right? For fire defense. Oh, it is better fire defense. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Oh boy, the game's even brighter now. Because I have this little fucking dot on the top of my head. Let's go. I mean, we'll deal with the Sentinels at some point, because uh, we're going to be doing Dark Souls 2 after this, so. That's going to be fun. I've said it before, but I feel like Dark Souls 2's early game is just kind of bad and then the actual fun part of Dark Souls 2 is like it's mid to late game and you also have to be kind of careful with the build that you do in Dark Souls 2 I guess that's the f fair for all Dark Souls games like your build actually matters a decent amount I could run to the left of the hand instead of the right uh, I don't know what you're saying Oni If you're saying, like, the left side of the arena, I've already done that side. You have to do each side of the arena and then the middle side to actually, like, complete the boss fight. Where are you, Havel Ring? Let's do that for now.
Honestly, I feel like Dark Souls 1's beginning is not that bad. How? Compared to Dark Souls 2, I feel like Dark Souls 2's beginning is fucking miserable. Okay. Okay, at least I didn't fall. Okay, fuck you, dude. Ugh. I can't go to the left side because I can't actually break the thing if I go to the left side, if that's what you were asking. There's that thing in the in the way. There's like a piece of tree in the way. I wouldn't say it's gold. I would say this is probably like where the game kind of slowed. I would say the game slowed down for me after Ornstein and Smo. After the ONS fight, the game lost a lot of steam, in my opinion, at least on my first playthrough. It felt like there was a lot of fun exploration and stuff. Basically, like the ringing the two bells, going through uh, Sen's Fortress, going through Anor Londo, fighting Ornstein and Smo. And then after that, the, the world was just, like, so open and so kind of oddly empty in a way. Like, the like the, these encounters, like, I, I don't care about these guys at all. I've never sat here and tried to fight them legitimately and felt, like, challenged by them. I just remember doing this run 700 times in a row because Bed of Chaos sucks. Yeah, once you get the Lord Vessel, this game honestly slows down. Where Dark Souls 2, it feels the opposite, where the game really picks up once you get past. Um, I'm trying to think which what area it is, but I can't remember the name of the area. But Going on the outside doesn't work anyway. There's one path, Oni. There's literally one path you're allowed to take. And the stupid tree just like spams you with uh hello oh, i'm being dumb with shit over and over again so like there's not really much to it can't poise through it just have to hope that you don't die and hope that you don't land in a pit like i don't think there's a strategy like there probably there is one where you can kill the boss from like far away but I don't think you can go from the outside because you get blocked off. Like, I can't climb on that thing. I have to just survive that and then run and hope I survive the next hit. Oh, I got lucky. It did a different move. Oh my god, I got so lucky that I didn't do the fucking hand swipey move. Oh, I got so lucky. Like, you just had... I just got lucky that the boss did the right move. That's it. Fucking stupid-ass boss. Uh... What? Full screen, just explosion attack. Seems fair. Yeah. Looking good. They knew this fight was bullshit because they saved your progress in between attempts. That's how you know they knew the game was like this fight was bullshit. Omni, you're very cute, but legitimately, I just got lucky. I appreciate that you think that I did something amazing there, but no, like I did the same thing I would had been doing. It's very cute. Like legitimately, it's it's not that's not how it works. It has two attacks. It has the side swipe where it basically just fucking funnels you into the the hole and it could just do that move over and over and over again. And then it has the downward slap move. And it did the swipe into the slap instead of the swipe into the swipe. If it does swipe into swipe, you can't avoid it. If it does swipe into slap, you're good. If it does slap into slap, you're good. You're just waiting for the slap. That's it. 
I genuinely don't think there's any other way around it. I'm sure there's somebody that's watching right now, or maybe will watch this in the future, that's just like, well, actually... You're just supposed to blah, 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 and I'm just like, okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't, I genuinely don't think, unless you're doing the firebomb strategy, like the speedrun strategy, I don't think there is a real strategy for finishing this fight. Also, my microphone fell. Hold on. Why is it? Oh, that's why. There it is. I'm doing a slow roll? No. Because I'm putting on Havel's Ring. Just use bow. Oops. Anyways. I'll do it after this. I've been on the internet long enough to know that that's just how people are. Okay. Now I just need to hope for the best. Nice. Fantastic boss design. From Soft, honestly, I hope you won a fucking award for that one. That was fantastic. Legitimately, I don't think there's any other strategy other than just run your face into the boss over and over again until it gives you a pattern that works. If there's some other consistent f method that doesn't involve, like, fighting it from range, then I don't know. Yeah, no, but they'll defend it because well, actually they made it like that on purpose because it helps with the uh, lore because uh, the the Lost Witch of Isolith is actually the bed of chaos and it's important that they called it that because and it, it really makes you feel the hopelessness and uh, darkness of the I don't whatever man. It's fine. Thankfully, most other sections of Dark Souls isn't that bad, but this is definitely, like, so... Like, it's not even just that it's, like, bad. It's also just boring. Like, this section is just, like, ugh, whatever. You know? Yeah. I I honestly appreciate people that are willing to accept that their favorite games aren't perfect. Like, I, I will easily accept that some of my favorite games are not perfect at all. Like, Symphony of the Night is my favorite game of all time. It's not perfect. There are definitely issues with Symphony of the Night. Will I, tr like, sit on internet forums and argue about it? Also, seriously, you could fucking do... F Whatever. I hate this game. All right. Nice hand swipe. Oh. Oh, I needed to wait for the second one. Damn, my bad. Okay, there's a second one. This is my chance. I gotta go. I gotta go. Don't do another hand swipe, please. No, it's doing another hand swipe. What? What? I just didn't jump far enough? Oh, by the way, they put platforming in this boss fight too, by the way. Dark Souls platforming boss fight. I hope whoever made this boss got fired. I hope whoever made this boss got fired. They probably got promoted, yeah. So many people wrote in saying that they're angry about this boss design. And they just keep giving us money. Yeah, no dedicated jump button. And you there's no other way to make it to that point, I don't think. You have to jump, right? Imagine playing Dark Souls 
and not knowing that you could jump, by the way, because it's not like a mechanic that's taught to you. You probably could get this far into Dark Souls without even knowing there's a jump button. Maybe you... Eh, you probably would have done it by accident, but still. I, I'm... I'm still of the belief that this is like just an incomplete area in general. Like they just didn't get a chance to finish it and they had to pump the game out. Valley of the Drakes is also kind of bad. Yeah, you're right. All right, hand swipe. Where is it? Yup. Hand swipe. Hand swipe. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Please make it. Oh, just barely. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay, easy peasy. Bonk. Oh, it doesn't even feel good, man. It doesn't even feel good. Oh, well. Did I not get any souls? I was about to say, where are my souls at? Fucking cheap ass. Um. Sure. And then warp and then fire link shrine. Sure. I could try and get some more Twinkling Titanite and upgrade my uh, hammer because I'm only one Twinkling Titanite away, but honestly, who cares? What? What? Yeehaw! Sekiro, if we finish Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 before Elden Ring and we have time, I might do Sekiro because I plan on doing this every Saturday or we just play Dark Souls games. So Sekiro might, uh, might pop up at some point. We'll see. I mean, I can play it since it's on PC, so... Okay. Meh. The clams drop twinkling titanites. Eh. Do I want to farm for farm the clams? Can I even warp over there? I can warp over there, can I? You know what? Fuck it. Let's farm the clams. I'm down. Just to make my uh, hammer just ever so slightly better. 3D platforming is tricky to design. Well, yeah, that's true. They made their own genre for it. Not a tune magic. Warp to Crystal Cave. That's not true. There are definitely good 3D platformers that were not made by Nintendo. Sony has like th three series that I could think of that have great uh, 3D platforming. Can I just like throw a big fireball and kill him? Boop. Oh, body blocked. I was hoping for a drop, like, easily, but... Come on. None of you? Come on, be a homie. Give me the give me the Titanite. Ow. Why? I didn't press that. I hate this game.
What? Didn't stagger. Annoying. Yeah, I was going to say the Jack, uh, Jack and Dexter 1 in particular, but Jack Games had great platforming. Spyro was great. Uh, I will not say Crash Bandicoot was a good platformer. It actually was a pretty shitty platformer, all things considered, as far as the platforming stuff goes. Crash Bandicoot hates you and wants you to die. That is actually very true. Nobody actually has had fun playing a Crash game. It's all a lie. Can you stop? It's all propaganda. Nostalgic propaganda. I'll die on that hill. Are you guys talking about Doom 2016 or just Doom? Because I'm pretty sure you could run Doom on a toaster. Doom 2016, however. Also a fantastic game. Doom 2016 was a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing through it when I played through it. What's the drop rate of Twinkling Titan I hear? Am I just wasting my time? <gasps> Unless? Never mind. We Gucci, we did it. Easy clap. Give me that plus five, baby. Woo! Okay. And I get to level up on top of it. Sheesh. All right. Warp. Uh, alter. No. You can't warp to the thing? Am I that dyslexic? You can't warp to... Uh, the thing under Firelink Shrine, you have to go through two loading zones? That's annoying. Meh. Whatever. Why not just buy Twinkling Titanite from the Giant Smith? Ooh, Dan, about that. Um, You see this hammer that I have? Where do you think I got this hammer? I'll give you a hint. The giant smith didn't give it to me because he's a good friend of mine. It's not because we go way back and we're buddies or anything. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I had to do it to him. I was basically like hard locked at um, Ornstein and Smo because I was using um, the Uchi katana and he was doing 30 damage to them and my uh pyromancy flame i don't think was upgraded at all at that point so i had like no means of doing actual damage so it was either him or me and you know what i i needed i needed to borrow his hammer but he was like not gonna let me have it so No, Dark Souls is the best 3D platformer of all time. For sure. There's so much depth in the movement. How could you argue otherwise? Wait, did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Oops. Whoop. Give him the old run around. Ow. But either way. This fight probably won't be too bad, I hope. But we'll see. Does Pyromancy even do anything versus this guy?
Oh, I tried to parry him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He's gonna fuck me up. Don't play those notes. Don't play that song. Oh, no. It's over. Uh, he hit me with the fast one. Uh-oh. All right. That was the warm-up. That was just the warm-up. Everybody knows that you... That one doesn't count. Oh... <sighs> You guys want to gamble on this? I'm down to make this a quick gamble. Prediction. Uh, kill the fireman, question mark? Yay. Nay. You guys got a minute. Will I kill him on this attempt? Go, 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 go. Spend all your money. First time playing through Circle of the Moon, cool guy? Nice. Circle of the Moon's good. The game gets better on subsequent playthroughs, too. Like, playing through Magician Mode is a lot of fun. Playing through on um, uh, Warrior? I forget the name of it. Where you use only the whip, but you're, like, overpowered is a lot of fun. I never really enjoyed the Thief playthrough, but I think it just increases your luck by a lot. You guys got like 20 seconds. Nobody voted yes. There, there's no point in a prediction if nobody votes yes. Can, can I get at least like 10 points on yes? Nobody believes in me? The prediction isn't going to work, guys. That's not how you can't all vote no. Whatever. I hope I actually get it and you guys all just lose your points and nobody gets it. Watch, I'm gonna fucking like quadruple parry his ass. Mars Mandragora? I try. I don't even remember what that does. What? You can parry that. Oh, heal to that. Dude, I'm parrying, but it's not working. Oh, he ran past it. Fuck. Damn. What was the point? What was the point of this prediction, dude? You guys did it. You guys did it. I can't believe it. Wow. So much shit. I should have scammed on purpose, dude. Um, doesn't the advanced collection tell you what the combos do? Like somewhere in the game? I know you could look them up too, but... I'm sure you're trying to figure it out on your own just to... Have fun with it. But yeah, if you do ever get stuck, there's a shit ton of resources on that game. It is old after all. Also, I'm confused why I can't parry him. I know it's possible. I must be mistiming it. I haven't even hit him once yet. It tells you once you proc the effect, otherwise it just says question mark question. Oh, okay. I thought they added that into the advanced collection that it just like tells you once you have it, but I guess it makes sense once you proc the effect, then it'll tell you. How's Gwyn treating you? I'm trying to parry his ass, but he's uh, proving to be quite difficult to parry his ass. 
I'm parrying too early. Alright. That was too late. Okay. Confused. Fuck off! Let me heal. You're being mean. No, you have to let me heal. You have to. I'm gonna tell on you. Alright, that's fine. Why did I roll in? Seventy two. We're going to be here for a while. Ah, <sighs> seventy two. Does he resist lightning? On the on another note, does he resist fire? Because my only two options are to do fire damage or to do lightning damage. Or does he just have higher like damage resist in general and it doesn't matter. Uh, I could try and red tear stone him, I guess. He has like 1700 lightning resist. Oh, this is my main weapon. Uh, Welp. I have a Uchi plus five. Bro, this thing probably still will do more damage. Fuck, bro. That's wild. Um, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. Might do slightly more damage. It's it's faster attack startup at least. I never got the bigger ember, so I can't upgrade this more than plus five. Make it regular. I mean, the lightning part is the good part of the hammer. The hammer on its own isn't going to be good. So making it a regular hammer will do slightly more damage, but, like, at that point, I'm better off, like, specking into a completely different weapon. Which is a possibility if I need to. I just need to know if he has, like, really good fire resist, because I might be able to get his ass with, uh, fire attacks. Unless I can craft dark weapons? I don't know if I can. He's vulnerable to dark? Interesting. I didn't know that. I have an occult, uh, the occult, uh, club. I could use that. I could upgrade that. All right, bring it on, old man. What? Fucking parry these nuts, bro. Oh. God damn it. Oh, man. The occult club is actually might actually be hold on. What do I need to... I need white titanite chunks. I have two, so I can get it to plus two. Just send him to horny jail. Hmm. It's an idea. Perhaps we send him to horny jail. Parry as soon as he leaps. I was being told that I was parrying too early. I guess I was parrying too late the entire time. Alright. We will try it. Should be able to get this to plus two. Where do you even get white titanite chunks? I don't even remember. It's probably from specific lizards, right? Whatever. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Doesn't matter. To horny jail he goes. 
I still haven't even tried to hit him with uh, any flame-based attacks either. You know what we will do, actually? We'll put the flame hand on the other hand here. I feel like that's a better idea. So I could parry his ass and then set him on fire if I need to for DPS. I mean, I could be a lot more OP, all things considered. I'm only plus 15 pyromancy hand and like... I didn't uh, put my stats into good stuff. I put like so much stats into decks for no reason. If I put all of the stats that I put into decks into vitality and endurance and mostly vitality, I'd be able to like tank a bunch more hits at least. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and send him to horny jail. We'll see if this works. Because occult is the dark element, right? Well, I, I guess it makes sense. Lore-wise, you find the occult stick there because they're trying to kill the gods with the occult stick because they're weak to the occult element. It wouldn't make sense for them to do it otherwise. Otherwise, the lore is just actually wrong. In a Dark Souls game, that's impossible. Come on. Okay. I was told as soon as he jumps, but that was definitely early this time. Stop. No stabbies. Nope. No. Oh boy, he running. <gasps> I tried to find where the pole was. Gwen, just get parried already. Like, come on. Yeah, something, something, Havel. Speaking of Havel, should I just put the Havel set on? It's not like I'm going to roll through his attacks. I'll try it out. No, I think it's fair to say that Dark Souls 1's uh, end game is, like, not the best. I think it c tries to make up with it, uh, make up for it with its DLC. A lot of people like the DLC areas. I never was, like, a big fan of the painted uh, area that much. But then the other DLC is, like, way better. Uh, where is it? Uh-oh. Never mind. I don't have enough time. Forty-four. Never mind. I should go back to using the other one. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, no. Too early. Block? Wait, I can't block and then parry? Uh-oh. We're in trouble. I don't have enough stamina for it. Ay ay ay. Oh. Well. Occult Club is out.
That's fine. I mean, Dark Souls lore is interesting once you, like, get into it. I mean, most humans are biased towards uh, liking lore and stories as well, especially if they're, like, interesting. And the world of Dark Souls is definitely interesting. So, Do I have any Black Knight weapon? No, I didn't get a single Black Knight drop from any of the Black Knights that uh, have unique drops. I, How many are there, actually? There's... Only three that I know of. The one that drops the straight sword, the one that drops the great sword, and then the one that drops the spear. Is there more than that? That have the option to drop Black Knight weapons? Do these guys drop Black Knight weapons? I doubt it, right? Oh, one of them drops the axe. I don't think I killed that one. I actually, where is the one that drops the axe? But using a Black Knight weapon, like, I, then I have to go upgrade it for it to actually be kind of useful. I don't know. It's fine. Oh, nice hit through the fucking fog. Finally. 300 damage. I think this is the play. It's fine, guys. Uh-oh. Oh. I just have to parry him, like, eight or nine times. Plus zero Black Knight weapon. I just don't want to have to farm these guys for a weapon drop. You're probably right that it's better, but eh, I guess it's less parries I have to hit. Plus, I could just kill these guys on the way to the fight each time. So, sure, why not? I don't mind, sure. It also helps with uh, poise. Really, that whiffed? Tiny night chunk. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, we're going to be doing this run to Gwyn a decent number of times, so. Red Titanite Chunk. So if I just kill them along the way, it's probably going to be... You know, eventually I'll get a Black Knight weapon that'll be decent enough and hopefully save some time. I am doing like 400 damage per parry though, so that's not like the end of the world, I guess. There we go. Bonk. Is 
Do they have a 100% chunk drop rate? Or am I just getting super lucky on that aspect? I wouldn't be surprised if it is a 100% drop rate. Dark Souls does do that sometimes in their end game areas where they just give you enemies that have like a near 100% drop rate for uh, upgrading materials. Oh, early. All right, see you later, dude. If you dropped a weapon, I won't find it. Oh, just kidding, wait. I thought he was gonna go over the edge. Nice, I get to keep it. Whatever this item is. Chunk. Hey, white titanite chunk. I can upgrade that occult weapon. Oops. Do it again. Do it again. Early. Do it again. Come on. Got him. If he falls and drops something, you'll get it anyways. That's not true. Because they were falling off before and I wasn't getting their items. I think that's only true for like the normal uh, special non-respawning Black Knights. But these ones that respawn, if they fall off the ledge, I don't get anything. Because they were falling off the ledge before. What? Jerk. What? Ow. Oh, He got me. He outplayed me. Can't you parry this guy? I'm trying, bro. I'm fucking trying. The parry timing in this game is not very, uh, very big. It's one of the reasons why I'm wearing the Havel set, so I could try and, uh, poise through some of his attacks. I wasn't sure. Man, I'm trying my best out here. It's only the final boss of Dark Souls. It's fine. Bro, Dark Souls 2. I'm like... Like, happy that we're going to be finishing Dark Souls, but then I'm, now I'm just thinking about, man, the start of Dark Souls 2 is going to be rough. And I'm playing a build. I'm going to be playing a Sorcerer build, which I've never done in Dark Souls 2. And I have a feeling that Sorcery is going to suck ass at the start. And the start of Dark Souls 2 sucks ass. So, like, you know? Do you think Dark Souls 3 parry frames are worse? I feel like they were much more consistent, but that's just me. You didn't like Dark Souls 2, you actually dropped it. I've never finished Dark Souls 2. I've tried a couple of times, but... Oh, really? Come on, try it again. Try that shit on me again, bro. Boom. Get that shit out of here. DS2 Sorcery is OP as fuck? I mean... I hope so. I've never done a build of it before. So like just saying it's OP, this is what we, I've found out at least. Just saying such and such is an OP build doesn't help when you don't know how to make that build, right? It's very easy for me to say, I'm gonna do a sorcery build and then just like not find the right uh, catalyst or not find the right uh, spells or like any of that shit. And then just be like, well, shit. This doesn't feel like it's OP. It feels like it actually sucks ass, you know? I guess we're just farming chunks now. I could just upgrade like a normal weapon. I could make this into a normal hammer. And then just upgrade it to like plus 15 or something if I wanted to as well. If we get stuck here for a while. Sorcery is just OP in every game. That's kind of what it feels like, huh? What the fuck kind of it? Bro, get that shit out of here. I'm just going to fight you normally. I'm tired of parrying these asses. You're going to restore spell usages? 
Isn't that Dark Souls 3? Where you can, uh, well, I guess it's not usages, it's FP in that game. Nice one, idiot. I'm not over there. Dumbass. <gasps> Black Knight Halberd, my favorite. The love of my life? Black Knight Halberd? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Oh, baby, honey, sweetie. Where have you been my whole life? Uh, what do I need? 32 strength? What strength do I have right now? What's half of 32? Wait, can I not wield this yet? Oh man. Wait, 16 is exactly half of 32. Never mind, we're good. We can two wheel uh dual wield it, right? Or do you need what's the equation for two handing? I need twenty two. Fuck. So I got the the wrong black knight weapon then. Basically, I'm just looking for a Black Knight straight sword then, huh? Because I will not have enough souls to level up my strength to 22. It's going to take me like 20k souls per level. It's just not going to happen. That was late. There we go. I guess it's just the jumping attack that's tough to, to block. No! He grabbed me. What? It buffered my roll for so long. Oh, no. I'm just going to actually chug. Parry into chug. What? There we go. Jesus. Oh, I didn't put on the shield. Come on, man. What? Oh, no. Chug. We're fine. We'll live this. Oh no, I mistimed it. Take that. I'm dead. Get that ass down. You know what? Humanities, pop it. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to use Humanities to heal. I think we'll, we'll be good. Yeah, because even, like, if he hits me afterwards, I'm still fine. And then I should be able to block. And then do another one. Wait, do I not do more damage? I, oh, I guess I do do a little more damage if I two-hand it. Then I get hit by the first two, yep. Oh yeah, we're good. Easy. Wanna learn how to do a motherfucking infinite? Oh, I didn't do the third one. Oh no! Do this. He grabbed me! Alright, humanity's time. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Am I going to do another chaos? Yes, I do them every Mondays. At the start of every uh, chaos video slash stream, I always make sure to say that I do it every Monday. So. Monday is the day that we do chaos. No worries. Just reminding you. 
It's no hard feelings. What's up, Grimy? We made it pretty far, considering uh, this weapon is not the best for this uh, fight. But it's fine. The strategy will work, and there's always a, a chance that I get another... Well, popping humanities. I'm going to run out of humanities, but... I don't know. Hopefully I get a better weapon. You found a glitch in Portrait of Ruin? Which glitch? There are many glitches in Portrait of Ruin, that's for sure. Like the speedrun finishes in like 13 minutes, so it's a very glitchy game. Bro, I'm so excited for Elden Ring. I can't wait to like just be a part of like a, a new Souls game coming out. Can you cancel your flask into a roll? Not really. Everything in Souls games like is very, very committal. What the fuck? I just got my ass beat by this guy. Do I have the Hornet Ring? I do. What does it do? What does Hornet Ring even do? Because I'm not using this. Boost critical attacks. Oh, do I do more damage when I parry? Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, it's not like I really care about using the Havel's Ring right now. Thank you. That is good to know. So it works for backstabs too. When you backdash it and Oh, that's interesting, doppelganger. I guess it makes sense that you would get invincibility afterwards. What's up, Matthias? You made it to the end of Dark Souls with us. Now, whether or not we actually finish Dark Souls in a reasonable amount of time is a completely different question. That didn't work as a backstab? Come on, give me the backstab. Thank you. How much damage are we doing? Oh, yeah, that is more damage. Nice. Cool. Oh, I still haven't even tried Pyromancy on this guy. I forgot that I have a whole Pyromancy build. That was the whole point of this playthrough was Pyromancy. And I kind of just ignored it because I just wasn't doing well with it. Get over here. Oh, so winging it. Well, I guess you didn't miss, but... You tried your best. Watching the world record all bosses run. Yeah, the world record all bosses run is really good. That's a tough run to beat. There are places where time could be saved, but not a lot of places. It... It's probably the best executed run out of all of the runs on the leaderboard. Out maybe any percent no, any percent I did drop like a pretty decent chunk of time, but comparatively. But still. That was early. Don't use your shield against my shield. That's cheating. I'll just backstab you then. Jerk. Can I get the straight sword, please? That'd be nice. Cause I think I have the stats to wield it. Nope, never mind. You're a jerk. Moving on. Yeah, Bloodless, I never finished my playthrough of Bloodless because it just wasn't fun for me. She just felt like a very incomplete character. I imagine it's going to be the same for whatever character they add after Bloodless. How's Dark Souls treating me? Damn, I'm doing a lot more damage with my uh, criticals. Hornet Ring that good? Nice. I mean, we're just waiting to beat the game. It's just a matter of whether or not uh, Gwyn lets me beat the game. Yeah, Hornet Ring's insane, dude. Honestly, with the Hornet Ring, I might be doing enough damage where I don't need to worry about uh, getting a Black Knight weapon. Essential for invasion builds? Interesting. 
I don't know anything about PvP, man. I really don't. Oh, I was late. No! He's kicked me. Leave me alone. How much damage are we doing? Not bad. That's a decent chunk of damage. Okay. I didn't feel like using a humanity there because that start was kind of rough. Did I get a weapon drop? It was a Black Knight shield, not an actual. Uh, BKH plus five, man. That's my mwah. just mwah. chef's kiss. Fantastic. Is this a rando? No. I was just playing through um, as a pyromancer for the first time. And honestly, the pyromancy part was uh, kind of underwhelming, I'm going to be honest. I always wanted to learn the speedrun for Dark Souls, but like, I don't know. It feels like very not super beginner friendly. I'm sure I could learn a beginner friendly route, but like the main, like any percent route feels like there's a lot of tricks involved that could be very finicky. I know there's like frame perfect uh, wrong warps and stuff, so. DS1 doesn't use Black Knight Halberd anymore. At least uh, the OG. I know the remake, I think, does. Or at least it used to. They all just use wrong warp routes now. Is the other shield better? I mean, marginally, yeah. It's marginally better. Wait, if I upgrade my shield, does it increase the poise of, like, how much I'm able to block with it? Because I have Titanite, but... The new Dark Souls 1 speedruns don't use uh, Black Knight Halberd anymore. I think they use Dragon Tooth and they item swap it with a Rapier. So you do running Rapier, double stab Dragon Tooth. It's been that way for a while. But yeah, BKH used to be the the thing. Not enough shield dashing in this 3D Metroidvania. Yeah, you're right. No, the hammer's great. I've never used it before either. I was stuck at um, An Orlando with no way out, and all my weapons were ass. So somebody suggested that I just kill the blacksmith and get his hammer. I mean, I felt bad doing it, but it was a, a necessary evil. Anyway, should I upgrade my shield? Is it worth it? Because I haven't upgraded it at all. I feel like I could if it actually helps with like blocking these attacks. Really? See, this guy sucks ass. Fuck you. Really? Take that. 292 damage without needing to parry his ass. Okay. We might start with the pyromancy then. We might pyromancy their asses. I'm considering it. Wait, upgrade is only attack power? Damn, never mind. Thanks for letting me know, Thievish. Is my glove leveled? I'm uh, plus 15. The playthrough was meant to be a pyromancy playthrough, but apparently you don't just play through as a pyromancer in Dark Souls. Like, that's just not a thing. You get pyromancy 
alongside whatever build you do. But just like a normal pyromancy build doesn't really exist. Or isn't practical, at least. Oh, buddy. Black Knight Sword. Where are you at? Did I pass it? Am I blind? Yes, I am. Okay. What are the stats on you? 20 strength? Aha! This should do more damage. What? Hello? Thank you. Nice. Will it do more damage on these guys, though? Let's find out. 438 on a... Wait, never mind. The other one is uh, better versus these guys. I was thinking he was going to do the two hits. I forgot it's just a single hit for this animation. Never mind. <coughs> you were wrong. It does improve stability. Wait. Then I should upgrade it. For sure, then. Because I would like to be able to block the attack, and then... After blocking the attack, I want to be able to repose. That'll help a lot. Because if I can handle blocking an attack and then doing the, the parry, it'll help a lot. Now, hopefully it like actually helps and it's not like a marginal difference where it's like it increases it by like 2%. It's time for clams. I don't want to farm clams again. What's up, Shizzy? We've already we already farmed clams for like two minutes. I don't want to farm more clams. I wasted all my twinkling titanite on this shit. And this fucking hammer. And the hammer it doesn't really. Oh. Well, ow. Nice attack. You have bested me in combat. Aha. Uh -huh. But you have been outplayed, sir. I don't want to do oyster farming, man. I mean, I could. I could also go to the tree and get the Twinkling Titanite and the um, hollow tree. Oh, I can't parry that. Maybe you can, actually. I'm glad to hear that, Doppelganger. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Yeah, I had to kill the giant for his hammer, but he sells Titanite, which would have been nice. You know what? Hold on. I have 10K from these guys, and then I have some... Mm, okay. The best gamer ever. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to be a good gamer. Uh, yo, but the Occult Club. Wait a minute. Occult Club. That's the real strats. Wait, I'm out of Titanite shards? Ugh, okay. Well, I can go buy some. I don't know how many I need, though. Let me update. Up, update. Upgrade. Let me update the, the Grass Crest Shield to version 4.20. Uh, how many should I get? Like five? I need three more. Am I out of soul? No. Wait, didn't I buy the... the sh huh? Brr? That was weird. All right. 
I'm only doing it for the poise. Like I the I was only doing fast rolls for the entire playthrough outside of specific bosses. Anyways. The issue with the invincibility while rolling is I'll have to do multiple rolls when he does multiple attacks and then like dealing with uh I don't have like a ton of stamina to be doing stuff like that. I think we'll be okay with Hornet Ring, and then I can block stuff, and then I can parry. I could also block. I could do blocking plus fast roll plus uh, pyromancy as well. I'm trying, uh, Matthias. I'm trying to make this the run. It's a shame these guys don't drop Twinkling Titanite. That'd be nice. Oh, well. No. Gwyn always takes forever, man. It's, it's just how it works. If you don't get the parries, he does kind of twerk on you a little bit. That's just how Gwyn works. Skibbity whoop. Uh. Oh no. Oh boy, he coming. Skibbity whoop. Give it a whoop. Oh, man. Oh, you can't side, like, sidestep that. Oh, he just killed those. Wait. The Black Knights just said, fuck that. They weren't even affected. I tried to do it on the second one. Oh, what? The parry timer was all messed up. How did I not parry the second one? That's wild. I don't think you can, can you backstab him there? I don't think that's how that works. Did I ever end up picking up a buckler? I don't think I did, right? I did not, so that's not going to help with uh, the parry timing. Oh well. I'm fairly certain you can't backstab Gwen, but maybe you can. I don't know. I've never done it before. I already have the Black Knight Halberd. I just don't want to get my strength to 22. And then even then, I'm still going to need to, like, parry him. So. Sit there and focus on the parry. It's just that he has the one attack that's basically near unreactable for the parry timing. But I guess I could just get lucky. I don't know. Yeah, it does do that sometimes.
Where you go to parry and you just like flick the thing and it doesn't work. Dark Souls 1 parrying is kind of ass, but it is consistent. I mean, speedrunners do it all the time. Damn, with the backswing? Yeah, you've never, you don't get rewarded for betraying people in this game. It's never happened, not even once. This game is about friendship and jolly cooperation. Skip it, whoop. Make sure I'm all topped off. Oh, you literally just can't even block that, huh? Okay. Oh, that, is that considered like the same move almost? Ugh, this is bad. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about that. First attack is parryable. I've tried parrying it every single time, and I'm it. The timing on that attack in particular seems very, very tough. The rest of them aren't that bad. I mean, I've been fucking it up, but there was an attempt where I got like six parries in a row. But <sighs> it's just a matter of time. It's just unfortunate that the walk back is just so long and annoying. We could, I'm curious, if I, I should have another fat ring, honestly. Just put on this set and try and like, just play normal. I wonder what will happen. If I'm going to go out of my way to, like, just give myself an OP weapon, I'm just going to upgrade the, the Black Knight halberd that I got or the Black Knight sword that I got, you know? He's strong versus lightning, isn't he? That's why my hammer, which is lightning attribute, isn't doing a lot of damage to him. Whoa. I'll try and play more nimble and use combustion, I think. Because eight combustions will get him down to like half HP. Oh, he tried to hit me on the backswing. Bloop. All right. We'll try this. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I dodged it. What a legend. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, come on, man. What? Okay. This could work. I'll get him down to more than half health, and then after that, I'm kind of, you know... Kind of screwed, but he has four two fifty, and I'm doing what like, yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like this will be more consistent, and then if I need to, I can try and parry him and then switch to the the um, hammer at the end, so I only have to hit like a handful of parries. Uh, excuse me, thank you. Okie dokie. Oh man, we're so close, so close. And on the bright side, we're also using pyromancy since this is kind of the whole, you know, point of the the playthrough was to try pyromancy for the first time. So using it against Gwyn feels a little, feels right. It feels right to use pyromancy to finish this off. Just get the shield rod. Fuck, you're right, man. Yeah, it just sucks that I only have eight uses of it. Because it's not going to be enough to kill him outright, but even if I hit every single one. But you know. Boom. Fire breath, fire breath, fire breath. Oh, I tried to roll at the end there. Oh, he did the big swing. Oh, he stabbed me. Oh, he did the slow swing. He has the slow swing and the fast swing. I okay. got uh, almost down to half. Not bad. I'm doing the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. Hold on. Oh, okay. What even is power within? Bonk. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um. What the fuck is Chaos Fire Whip? Strong magical shield, oh boy. Huh? This shit looks like trash. That looks like trash. How do I remove it? Hello? What? This menu is so jank. What the fuck? This is how you know I've never done any mage shit. Oh, I have to move over and then, okay. Sure. In fact, honestly, a tune magic. I think I'm going to just get rid of normal fireball. I don't need it. Sure, why not? Maybe run away and throw fireballs at him. That might be an option as well. Let's do it. I am also subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hell yeah. We're almost at 10K. We're like a little under 100 or a little over 100 away from hitting 10K on YouTube, which is insane. I... I don't know how we did it, but, well, we haven't done it yet, but. What? He jumped on my head. I've never seen that before. What a, what a mad lad.
Yeah, you definitely want to subscribe now so you could say that you knew me back before I even had 10K subscribers. Because, you know, after 10K, it's like, well, you're just hopping on the bandwagon at that point, you know? But before 10K, you could definitely flex that you knew me before it was cool. Yeah, dude, fucking tried to stomp me like a Goomba. Whoa, 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 why is he so aggro? Hey, whoa, whoa, buddy, chill. Uh-oh, this is not good. I'm going to do one of these and then open the door while I'm invincible. Walk in. Do what? Cheater. How did I dodge that attack? That'll stagger. Do one more. Oh, he did the slow one on me. On a pixel? Alive on a pixel? I'm greedy! For some reason, I thought that pillar would stop him, but it didn't. Damn. Please, Thunder. I, I, I was using a Thunder Hammer, and he resists Thunder, dude. Oh, PK Thunder. My bad. No, no, that's like a different... You're, you're thinking of a different... It, it, I, I mean, I know you're... It's like a different... Like, this is... Like, th th this is... This is Dark Souls. But, I mean... You know what? It's fine. You got it, buddy. Easy. They're honestly so similar. I make... I get them mixed up in my head all the time. I'm like, oh, God, what the game, you know, with the... With the with the orphan boy and I, I actually know nothing about Earthbound. Please don't I, don't tell like the the real gamers because they're gonna get mad. Don't tell Doc. Don't tell Doctor Swallman. He'll be mad. But I really don't know anything about Earthbound. Never even tried to play it once. Like, actually, that's not true. I tried to play it once, and then it, it made me read a bunch, and I was like, ew, reading, gross, and then I stopped playing. Skibbity whoop. All right, let's... Toast his ass. Come on. Toast. Oh, I thought he was going for the third one. Toast. Oh, that, he did the fast attack. And then the... Th How many more of those do you have? Hold up. No. No, no, no. No. Uh-oh. Run! Fuck. Uh, I just want to heal. God damn it. I guess if that's the case, if I really want to heal, I am just going to need to parry him and then heal. No healing allowed, I guess. Jerk. What rings do I have? I have Fap and um, Havel right now. I was using Hornet, but I have Havel so I can fast roll with this uh, set that has really good flame resist. Or fast roll, not fat roll. I could try and just like farm levels or something, like go do like a DLC boss or something real quick. Ow. Jerk. But that won't even give me that many levels, honestly. Hi there, Leechy. Did I pick up Dusk Set? Maybe. I might have. Depends on where it was. Oh boy, he coming. Oh boy, he coming. 
Oh, the backswing. Grabbing power within. Where is power within? What is power within? People keep saying power within. What is power within? The power of anime? The power of God and anime on my side? Is that what it is? What is it? It make you strong, but make you hurt. Big strong, big hurt. Heart of the cards? Yo, Hypoxia, thank you. Damn, bro. Thanks. Don't let the Twitch mods hear that. What am I doing? I don't want to two-hand my pyromancy. That's stupid. Oh, he baited me. Oh, he kicked me. Don't do it. What? Can you not parry that? Come on. I was going for the parry. Did I see the big bug thing on the wall in Blight Town? It's right beneath it. I gotta go to Blight Town for Power Within? What was the midnight set you said? I'm starting to think I don't got it. I have Armor of the Sun. I think there are one or two unparable ones. Ah, oh, shit. I can do it with what I have now. I just have to fucking hit, land a few parries. Stop getting hit by dumb shit. I just need to actually focus. I'm not really focusing on the fight. This is a fight that you really can't autopilot. You don't got it. Well, you meant the... the for a second, I thought you meant like I don't got it as in like I said I got this, but you were saying I don't got this, but never mind. You were saying I don't got the... Never mind. Skirt. Watch this, guys. I'll turn on gamer mode real quick, and I'll just get it first try. I was just throwing for content. I've just been enjoying streaming. I didn't want the stream to end too early. It's fine. We got this. Wait, what? Oh, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Scooby whoop! I gotta get up here. Oh, nice to see you on this fine eve. Just parry this idiot and clear the game. That honestly, what I could have done this whole time. Whoop! Scooby whoop! Almost backstepped off the ledge. All right, Gwyn, Lord of. Oh fuck! Okay, we're good. There we go. Uh, I'm dumb. I autopiloted two-handing there. I missed. That, there goes 300 damage. What the fuck is this, like, homing attack shit? I hate parrying in this game, dude. How did that not count as a fucking parry, man? That one was bullshit. I'm used to two-handing right after parrying, but that was my bad. That one doesn't count. That doesn't count. That's not fair. You should try a lighter shield with more parry frames. I don't know how to break this to you, but I don't got one, bro. Like, what shield would you recommend? Parry his hand, not his weapon. What does that even mean? Like, I'm not close enough? Any small shield? I don't have a small shield. Like, legitimately. Which one? 
I guess spider shield is that would that be better? That's the only one. Unless you're gonna say cracked round shield is better. But I feel like that's just as big. Watch his hand. Cracked does have more frames. I thought you can't parry with certain shields if they're not. Uh, I guess that doesn't make sense. Never mind. Sure, I guess we could try it. I mean, he'll fuck me up either way, but. Even pairing with fists would be better. All right, we could try that too. I'll swipe his hands. I'll say, get that shit out of here. Scoobity whoop. Okay, it didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. I That's such a stupid move to parry, dude. My poor dude. <sighs> My first time wasn't easy. Okay. I'm not going to get mad and say that um, this is probably like my 10th plus time of trying to beat, or well, actually beating this game. I've beaten this game many times. It's just that, you know, not everybody sits here with a safe state practicing the Gwyn fight. Speedrunners do that, but I don't. I'm also playing a build I've never played before. But it's fine. I won't get mad at the assumption that you assume that I haven't played this game before. I'll admit there's plenty of things I don't know, that's for sure, but... It's okay. Okay. Now, there's a certain amount of, like, backhanded pity in it, pittiness to stuff like that that I find personally, and again, it's just a personal thing, that I find, like, very insulting. But I know you didn't mean it that way, so I'm not taking it that way. Which is why I openly said I'm not going to get mad about it. But that's the kind of shit I would normally get mad about. I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, a normal thing for other people, but, like, the over over compensating with positive reinforcement makes me feel worse most of the time. Like when you're obviously struggling against something and people are like, oh, you're so great. You're amazing. You're doing great, sweetie. Like that shit makes me like more mauled than anything else. That's literally too fast to react to. Four, four. Oh, I did the slow one. God damn it. This is not the remastered. This is the original. I'm playing DS1 uh, Prepare to Die with DS Fix. Uh, the most annoying thing, honestly, is just the run back because it's like I just want to get back in there and try again, but this game is wacky. You're not wrong. <sighs> I'd like to just be able to beat him with the stuff I have now, but it would be a lot easier if I just invested in farming for Twinkling Titanite, farming for 22 Strength, just Black Knight Halberding it like I normally do. But whatever.
Whoa, I almost fell off. Come on. Yo, thanks for the gifted hypoxia. Very, very nice of you. Hmm. What's the light on my head? It's the uh, the headpiece. The sunlight crab. What are they fucking called? I've never had this uh, headpiece before. I forget what it's called. This would have been really nice for Tomb of the Giants, by the way. Fuck you. Trying to stun him. And then stagger. Why does that combo? Ugh. Oi, 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 oi. If I don't feel like I'm making much progress. How much, how many souls would it take to get to 22 strength at this point? I might consider it. Because then I only have to parry him like four times with a black knight plus five. And then I just farm fucking tingling tight knight for like two hours. But that's going to take like two hours. I mean, I could pump up my humanity, which will help, but I don't know. That'll stagger. It didn't stagger, really? The thing that's nice about Pyromancy is you don't use uh, stamina for it. So I could use my stamina for rolling. That should... The third one's supposed to stagger. Blow him up. How did he dodge that? Cheating ass. Old cheating ass. Oh, I tried to parry that. No! Oh, not the shield fucking counter. I'm dead. I'm hoping that this will work. Okay, we should be okay here. This will do a lot of damage, but... Fuck you. This could be up. Yep, here it is. Yeah, fuck all that grinding shit. 
Oh, you should go get this ring. Oh, you should go do the fucking blah, blah, blah. No, I just need to fucking play the game. Fucking gamer mode activate. God damn it. Fucking. Oh, you should go do the blah, blah. No, fuck that. And I got my souls back. What's the the bad ending? I just leave. I just say fuck this shit. I'm out. Is that how it works? Yeah, fuck this shit. Fuck you, Gwen. Fuck your Age of Fire. Fuck this game. And my dude looking crispy as fuck. Look at those. Oh, they're so cute. They're so. Look at them. So handsome. And it was first try, t <laughs> too. If this ends up on YouTube, I'm cutting out all the, the parts where I died every single time. Better bow down. I just killed your sun god. Damn it. Return it. Whomstidolidiv. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Let's go, baby. GG's, GG's. Original Dark Souls. Fuck you, Hidekataka Miyazagi. And your game is ass.